Good morning and welcome to week seven of the Summer Skirmish. My name is Zeke, and this week, ladies and gentlemen, we are joined by Monster D-Face. Monster, how are you feeling, man? Feeling good, man. I made it in. Uh, first off, coming from a player to a shoutcaster for this event, I'm super excited. So thank you guys for having me. Oh, man, I'm ready to uh, get into the game today. It's going to be an awesome one. Um, so with that, I want to show you guys the schedule for today. So we're going to be covering over the EU teams first. So from 9 a.m., these are going to be the first set of games. We're going to carry these into five games up until about 12 o'clock. Then we're going to break where we're going to cover over the NA games from 2 to about 5 PDT. So yeah, we're going to have some crazy, crazy games today. For sure. And keep in mind, it is going to be five matches per each side. So Europe will have five, then North America will have five, just like we had last week, which is going to be good for the players, right? Because yep. you get to play five take a break, and then tomorrow, refresh, you can play five more. With every week, we change up the format. This week, we're going with Big Bonus. So basically, players are fighting for the most points, um, and there's a cumulative bonus, and then matches uh, have bonuses in, within themselves. Eliminations are worth one point. Victory Royales are worth five points. Here's the kicker, Monster. If a duo can land eight eliminations, they get an additional five points. And we talked about this before the break. So if you find eight eliminations, I, I want to get into points. this. I want to get into this. We went from seven eliminations for bonus points, which was hard enough to score to eight eliminations for even a, a larger score sum here. So mm -hmm. not only does every point score you one for, per elimination, right? getting eight eliminations is going to be insane. Mm -hmm. I don't even think it's like possible for more than one team to score this. So yeah. if it does happen, I'm going to be blown away. Yeah. And with that, uh, let's hop into our first game. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very excited to I'm see so how hyped. aggressive. I'm so hyped. Let's go. <laughs> what do you, let's make some predictions, Monster. What do you think? What's, what are you hoping to see? What do you, what do you hope, no matter what happens? No, no matter what, what I happens, see. I hope an underdog comes to the top today with their opportunity to show off and, and make a name for themselves. Mm. Because I love that part of this this hype, man. You, you don't know who's going to come up. So here we have it. Hopping in first. Going for Loya? Ooh, is that a flush oh, factory landing? Oh my gosh. Maybe? No way. Who? Oh man. So we already know if she's going to flush factory, they are not trying to kick things off with hyper aggression. These guys are going to be splitting up and early game is the hardest. So this is the most important decisions for the rest of the game here. How you start your games off. And uh, we we'll kind of talked about it, right? With the new format, you want to try and land eight eliminations because every elim, like last week, is a point, right? So what do you think? You think, especially just because it's match one, do you think people should start the game and go as hard as possible? Do you think maybe people are looking to warm up? What do you, you think? You know, honestly, based off of my experience, kicking things off in a hot spot is the scariest. You never want to touch down and be the first squad eliminated. Mm -hmm. And it's it's like early game gear fear, like right here, not having armor. But yeah, he has a shotgun. That, that's teamwork right there. Well done. His teammate comes up, rotates, and that's a first game elimination. But look at how quick that trade off just happened. Instant gets knocked in. What a clutch Ooh. up. What a clutch up. You talk, look, his teammate is fanatic at Nick's. My you guy. You talked about him. Tell I was me just about talking him. about Etnix. Etnix is a fantastic player, uh, super, super skill. And here we have another team coming in. So we, we got Poverty right here. And it looks like they're, they're going to be close to Loya. So we have multiple squads here. And look, there's another battle going off early game. You don't want to lose your teammate. These are the most riskiest battles. You have the least amount of loot. Look at that. His teammate just got traded out. He's got to get at least one point here. You got to thirst that player. Oh, oh man. So, yeah, see, he doesn't even want to stay there. If I were him, I would go for the point. Every point matters. We'll find out right now if he can clutch up. That's one hit. This player has armor. He needs one more. What a wow. shot. That was uh, the Vic goes down. We've seen the Vic show up, but I think they're – do you think they're – I can't tell if there's another player here. No, well, you know, this lawyer is close by at the Flush Factory. They might have heard these shots, but I think they're just going to be worried about setting up because they went with a passive spawn in. These, these are the risks you take for trying to land hot early game. Look at this. This is DK and Razor. Uh, so I, in previous weeks, we actually watched a game where we li uh, DK, DK was talking to us, and we literally just like listened to him narrate the final game where he ended up clutching out a big I out. remember that one. Yeah, that was then, actually really good. Yep, and then Razor is a really awesome player as well. Yeah, We've seen him always pretty much consistent. Razor is so consistent. He's yeah. so consistent. He's definitely got skill. These guys know what they're doing, and you can tell that their uh, their game plan is typically the same. This is like his area, you know? Mm -hmm. So anyone looking to come in on that 
uh, racetrack here, they're gonna have a problem. And look at the map here. This this is my favorite part. Look at how the racetrack. You think they're safe? Nope. Look, you have two more players coming in directly towards them. They don't even know yet. But monster, look, there's also two oh, there's two right north. under them. Yep. Right coming in from uh, hero base. And so it looks like that extra squad's here in the shots. They're looking to come in and clean this whole fight up. If they don't end this fight really quickly, this other squad's just gonna come in and catch uh, catch them off guard here. So uh, Razor and his teammate really has to bounce back quick and get back to that high ground before they get caught off guard. I really like the the usage of the silenced SMG there because we kind of we talked about this yesterday um, once we got together and we you you mentioned the moment that people hear shots they're trying to vulture they're trying to they're, they're trying to come in, right? in hot and and look at how cautious they are right they they know that they got to protect themselves to even pop armor no one wants to take the risk and oh man looks like he's kicking this one off with a knock here so this is where you want to go completely hyper aggressive and come in and trying to you know really wrap this player up so it, it's a it's a two v one here and look at how he's switching between every weapon and oh he gets caught off guard that's a knock so now it's a 1v1 oh man what a cluster from his teammate dude what a clean shot wow now here's the thing was this the second dual squad because we saw on the mini map there was two different squads uh, on the way or no this is paradise never mind this is paradise no, this, yeah this is paradise okay. but they're close i mean all, it all depends on the rotation they even had zone if you take a look at the map here uh, zone is right there so this team is more than likely going to run into Razuro's team uh razor's team sometimes sometime soon for sure Man, this is good though, right? So they got the eliminations. Now they have this, it looks like, to themselves. Because if there was another team here, you know they're definitely going to try and third party, right? Yeah, they, they would be, they'd be rolling in soon. And look, oh yeah, coming back to these guys, looks like they made a nice recovery here. Uh, they're, they're, mm, I don't know, man. For me, it's all about materials, early game. And yeah, it looks like their their gear is okay, but they, they can do a much better loadout. See, they're really short on ammunition and stuff here. So if they don't move soon, they're going to be stuck in one of those weird situations where they can't really uh, jump into fights unless it's extremely close quarter, because look at how limited they are on that AR ammo. Yeah, yeah. They got it. They got to make a move out of this POI sometime soon. And Loya, we talked about it, is just near right uh, in Flush Factory. Yeah, and and by this time with the with the storm moving, everyone's already on rotation. So if you really think about it, the risk of moving right now is extremely high. And this is the uh, the replay cam coming in from the player's perspective. So like, what do you do, right, Monster? So you land, maybe you find some eliminations. What? How do you start? leading yourself and trying to set yourself up for the end game, right? What rotations could you make? What yeah, objectives set, are you trying so to do? So there's, there's multiple ways you can approach uh, end game situations. There are the players that like to go dead center, prioritize high ground, which is a fantastic play, but you have to understand there's risk and reward to taking a really good spot early on. You take a spot early on, what are you sacrificing? Farm time. Are you going to have maximum resources by the time you get there? Probably not, because you're choosing to have such a great spot on the map. You you probably don't even have the greatest resources. So you really have to fine tune and balance it out depending on the zone. Mm -hmm. Not every game's the same. These things are uh, super dynamic and and you know it changes from from zone to zone. Like look at these guys here. They're not prioritizing positioning, right? They got to get their mats up. Right, right. So now what do you think, right? So if you're if you're in paradise because it's literally at the edge of the storm, do you just you say it out. Yeah, oh, you yeah, yeah. It you out, absolutely. Right? You take advantage of this this free time here. You want to capitalize on that. Looks like we have another battle here. Yeah, Roby, yeah, 62, yeah, and Doge by coming under fire. And he's got that new skin on. He's looking really good here. Oh, no. his team. So this is a risk he's taking, right? He's deciding to full heal here while his teammate is keeping the other opponent distracted. So lucky for him, he manages to pop off the Chug Jug, catch the, the knock here on Solary Yoshi, and now he's going for the push. This is an extremely risky push there. You notice he didn't even protect himself. Yeah, he's just got to get that point, play the low ground, and really just wait for the other player to come down towards him. You don't have to rush it. He has over a minute left here. He's got to play the patient game. They're already in the lead. Wow, over to Isaac and Le. They are you they've rifted in. Now they're inbound. So they're flying over. Paradise Palms is now on the right. Yep. So now they're flying in. Here's Fatal. Do you think they maybe just go up to... I think they're looking to land on a squad right now. You got to understand that everyone needs points, and if you don't catch them early game, you're going to let people get too comfortable, and they're going to be armored up, and then, you know, it's going to be hard to fight them when they're fully shielded. Uh, there it is. They're just like I said, they're looking for a battle now because they understand that if they can get an easy pick, uh, you want to kick things off, right? You want to start things off, try and get uh, damage in, and then take advantage of your positioning. So here it is. You, you can see they're kicking it off with the... Uh, the grenades there, and now now's the full ascent here. They're going in all the way. Barely misses that snipe shot. That would have been crucial to uh, success in this battle here. Yeah, they are. They've got. They've lead, led with the explodes. And look at that. Look at that. Just jump straight over. Clean shot. No misses. That was such a such a nasty punch yes, shot there. 
It's interesting how he's like building down and kind of like disengaging. Oh yeah, yeah, he's waiting. He just he just gave the call out to his teammate. He said like basically right here. So he told his teammate, "This guy's right above me," you know, and he's just waiting for for him to come in now. And he's gonna take down his porta fort here. Yep, he's trying to bring this down. So while the player is up top, he's looking to bring down this build battle. You know, and this this for the player up top, you hear someone breaking it down, you get nervous. You don't want to take that fall damage because you know what's gonna happen. He's trying. Oh, you see, he realized he couldn't take it. He couldn't bring it down, but the player moved, so now he's going back for the high ground. And that's him using those sign cues. Now look how they just turn his whole battle around. It's a two v one. He's got the high ground. That player disengages. That's the right move. That is the right move. You want to get out of there and reset. Oh, he dived low. He's trying to get to a rift here. He landed actually short. He can turn his whole battle around. This is a one v one right now. This is what you don't want to do in battle. Look at how things are turning around right here. Yes, it's okay to chase, but if you get thirsty on the push here, you see how how like how quickly things can change. That he lost all his armor. Now he's super low on HP. And now his teammate is just joining yeah, he's in. Gotta right wait, now. Yep, he's got to wait for his teammate. So that's the right play here. And again, one v one right there. All oh, risky, dude. So risky to split up like this. Looks like he's gonna get it though. There it is. Aragonist. Nice job. He almost, they almost threw that one. Dude, almost threw that one. You know, and I mean, I appreciate the play. I appreciate that players are being aggressive because they do want to find those eight eliminations. But his teammate was just so far behind. If he had made a misstep, it would have cost him his life there. But luckily, like you're saying, he played it back. He's like, look. Yeah, yeah. In the I heat, I mean, stop. in the heat of the moment, you you know, you get a you get a sense of uh, uh, confidence when yeah. you when you damage an opponent like that. You see him on the run. You want to chase him down. But if you chase without your your teammate, now you're making a 1v1. You're giving that player the opportunity to actually turn this whole thing around. Imagine he would have got the knock and ripped it out. Yeah. That's it, dude. That's, right? it. Like, <laughs> that's a point going the enemy's way. That's not what you like to see. That's not at all we like to see. But look at this. Oh, he just caught these guys farming. And, that's not, and he must have been super lit. He hit him in the chest and dropped him. So that player had no shield there. Look at the aggro push here with the launch pads. These guys are going to dive in. This is this is all them. There's no way they messed this up here. Yep, getting right behind him. That guy's armor is gone now. That must have been the two minis right there. And, oh, snap. He's in the player's builds. He doesn't have the wall here. So he's really got to get out of here. Yeah, he understands that. Look how quick he rotated out. I think that's so key, man. Knowing when it's like just time oh, they, to disengage. You, these guys know exactly when it's time to move. If they don't have those walls there, he's looking to get out of there. And that's he wants to get that point just in case. And this is Rogue Gamru. What a good player to take out this early on. That's going to definitely play a factor in how many slayers are on a map. That was a key knock there. Key knock. Back over to SSK. I'm actually catching even uh, Fnatic Jarl in the in the kill feed. Just picked up another one as well. Method Fixer teamed up with uh, Gabby here. Just got himself a knock. So Gabby looks like her team's doing well. These guys are doing really good right now. And there it is, Jarl. They're they're in combat right now. So he's already. We already know he has a kill. You can see that elimination right there on his one point. And now another team's trying to come in and catch these guys off guard while they clean up the battle. And they do catch his teammate here almost with this. Oh. That's so unfortunate. But it's not over yet. There's another squad right below him. I didn't know there was a guy There's there. actually another team right below him. He's got to get what he can get and get out of here. Count this as a small victory. I mean, you know, and he's, and he's set up, right? He's got all this extra loot. He's got the med kits. Honestly, the I was going to say, shields. honestly, with the med kits, he can really take his time here and uh, try and stab these players in the back. They're already on the move, so he's kind of got the advantage. He's got the storm closer to him. Yeah, you see that player? That, that player actually looks solo. He's... Looking like he's preemptively throwing walls to the side. Yup, because they they know he's here. They heard the shots. And now this is like a, the, the running game, right? Who can get to the storm first? But watch his rotations. He's leaning left. He's not trying to engage on these guys. He knows that he will be at a disadvantage if he takes it clean face to face. So if that other team really wants him, they got to push into him. And look at how he doubles back here. See? He's losing these guys. They don't even realize. This right here is going to catch this opponent off guard. Now, but do you keep building, or do you think maybe it's best to just run in the storm? Oh, you, no, you want to. He, he's gonna. I think you what he's gonna do. He's probably just gonna chill for a second and try and I buy himself some time. The more well. that team shoots, the more uh, attention they attract to themselves as well. See, see how he knows he's got two med kids. He's in no rush here. Now and there it is. He's just gonna storm. chill. This is this is actually like this is why he's he's such a good player, and they're so consistent week to week. He understands how much time he has. He just has to pop the med kit by uh, 20 HP, and he'll be fine. Look at him waiting out every second. Every moment matters here. The longer that team thinks he's gone, the better his odds are of getting out of here. He actually waited until the last pixel. I don't know if he's going to make this med kit. Uh, it's going to be Dude, close. I don't know. He actually waited till the last. Oh, my okay. gosh. It's okay. It's 
All right, that was looking. I a little never scary. wait until the last moment because if if you have even a hiccup or something like that, it's over. Like you're gonna it's get over. <laughs> he waited till the last the last HP bar. I don't think they know where he is. I think he they don't. might be in the clear potentially. Do you think he's gonna do it again? Wait till know. twenty. Absolutely. Every second matters here. And there it is. Well, I don't know if that was the greatest idea know. to go ahead and fire there, but looks like he's uh he's trying to get at him. Oh, yeah, that was a risk. Look, that was I, the risk he took. I don't think that was worth it. I'll be honest with you. No, I shouldn't. And he didn't land a shot there, so it's he didn't fine. even use first shot accuracy. He kind of just, yeah. uh, you know, use that Probably assault rifle to just pop off. He doesn't even have like bouncers or a launch pad. Like, he's so just think about here it. Now. If he gets caught in the next storm, that's five tick. Right. You cannot right be in five tick, going? especially without any more heals. He's expended all of that. But he's got 99 stone, 800 metal. Jeez, I didn't even check his resource count. He's Wow, <laughs> he's balling as far as the loot goes, so he's just got to make it to the next zone now. Play for win and Wait, did, they, did the other team just leave? I mean, because you got to get to the zone, right? You right. Can't, you can't stay behind because someone's, uh, you know, looking to risk their positioning. They, they want to get to the next zone if you want to win this game. Looks like there he, it is. He's just trying to see if anyone's there, any, <laughs> like, stragglers, any yeah, loot. He's going to coast. All right, so these guys are just outside of the zone here. Storm is just about to push him in. And it looks like a team is engaging on him from above. You definitely want to disengage here. They realize that the guy is backing up. He's using that metal. This, you know, it's so interesting that people will try not to use metal and stuff like that till end game. But when they get in a real intense situation, see how you upgrade his resource count here. Because PVPing now with the best resources is the way to go. They're trying to take control of all these walls here. They want to be able to make these edit plays. Oh, look at that push. These guys are going to put a rooftop over them, and that's going to cost them. Wow, that's a quick two pickup. That was Gabby and that Fixer. That was Gabby and Fixer. They were doing so good, too. Oh, no. Yeah, and I mean, you talk about it, right? It's like everyone's looking for micro advantages, like little things they can do to get the edge up, and just not even placing that ceiling there. Yeah, we, we call those small victories. This is Gotaga and Mikalau. Uh So we've seen these guys a lot. Gotaga I love... is such a slayer. He is. And have such you ever just watched his look, face? Look, he's got three right here. Have you ever just watched his face like when he plays? Like once he actually gets into like a, a tough engagement, if you just like watch his expressions, like he gets so animated. <laughs> All right. So here it is. They, they can sense a team trying to fortify up here. And it looks like it, Gotaga's going all the way in. If you saw his teammate kind of disengage there and he, he was still full aggro. So I think his teammate made the call out to just kind of chill. Yep. No, whoa. He, he actually full ascended. So someone's in the high ground here. I think Otaga's like uh, that aggressive player, though. Like, even if he gets he hyper is. aggressive, like he knows exactly how far he can go before he's like, okay, I got to reel it in. Oh, there it is. This player actually gave up the high ground. That was a mistake. That was a true mistake. And look at that. He doesn't realize that Otaga falls down. That dude died to one shot. So he was already weak. He's trying to get that point for the elimination. That's going to get him down up top. Oh, he was thirsty as well, so that was a thirsted. trade. And that was a shotgun, so that means that basically Mikolaj was fighting in close quarters there with an enemy, but he goes down. Now, here's the thing, and you kind of talked about this. It's not over, right? Because even if your dual partner goes down, you still oh, have one partner not. in the game, so. Absolutely not, because remember, this this could still be a 1v1. That's that's a fair fight, right? Yeah. He's, there's a plenty of points on the board here to be made, and I mean, he's already have he already has four. He's already have four. No, you can, you can just feel the intensity here. His yeah, teammate and him are trying to like, trade back comms here to figure out what to do. He knows the players above him. He knows there's another team that was pretty much, you know, firing in at this fight here. So he's got to be extremely cautious with the push. And, you know, it's one thing about in, in high-level PvP, the best players know when to build and when they can, like, free run for, you know, in, in some degree, like, free run without taking fire. Mm -hmm. Because for every player that exposes himself, uh, you see, like, right there, oh, man, he left that wall open. That's going to that's gonna backfire. He's oh, this guy's in critical damage up. there, yeah. We got another battle going on here. Just drum gun bullies his way through. That's already four eliminations on him. You see how these guys try to avoid using doors? You don't want that extra action of having to open a door. Right. It's the little things that make a difference in how fast they can push up on players. And he, these guys are actually in a great spot here. TC with four eliminations and his teammates still alive. Look at those resources, Ziki. Man, they are, they are, I mean, like, this is great, right? Like, you don't have to go that far. They have zone. Exactly. You've got a ton of resources. Eight, seven, six. I mean, you don't, you don't want to hear a uh, grenade, <laughs> grenade launcher coming at you, but uh, these guys know they got to get out of here. Oh, stink bomb. Stink choke, bomb. Choking up the point here. Choking up their rotation point. And you know, you know what else? Something really important to note. Bouncers. Bouncers are game changer for rotations in the end game. 
Dude, I like that edit. So most of the time, people do the, the wall inverted there. So like the slice is up high. He did a slice down low so he could peek over the wall. And if they return fire, they'd hit the wall instead. Exactly. Like that right there. That's that's a, okay, okay. This guy's quick, dude. <laughs> Man, 400 AR bullets. And he's got a drum gun. All right, so so this is what you want to do in this situation. Honestly, Teeksy and his partner want to use bouncers and either get centralized, build high, because you know Storm 6 is going to start moving the zone. And look, it lands on him. So from right here, they want to go straight in the air. Hit the coast. They, they want to go back to the to the edge here. Watch how they're doing it, right? So now they own the Storm edge. And if they take high ground from here, it's going to be they can choke players out to the Storm here. But it looks like they have players above them. They got to work their way to high ground right now, and these guys are being in such a good position to actually win this game. So they, they can play for wins, or they can play to snake uh, the, the tunnel play here and try and get, you know, little kills here and there. If it's up to me, I go for the win in this situation. They have the kills already. Yeah, because Victor is still worth five points, right? I mean, right. Their, their elimination count's really high. If, if they could just get that five extra points for winning the game, and this is this the prime spot to be in. I'm curious to see why they're not building up. Okay. I mean, we. So I think I think they just tunnel. feel the threat. You think so? The threat of the players above them. You can kind of hear him talking a little bit. I mean, oh look at that! He, he made a window box and just walked through it. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty yeah, he just got it like snuck out there. See, so these guys, in my opinion, they're burning resources here. Because what's going to happen? Players are going to rotate into their little maze, right? And they're going to just break it down and come in. Especially the update to uh, the pickaxes, right? Pickaxe oh, yeah. damage is oh, yeah. going to destroy all that stuff. All right, so so check this out. See, these guys have high ground. They're in a dominant position, but look at all the spacing here. So they're so paranoid down in their, their little tunnel area, they don't realize that they could just build up here and do what this guy's. So this guy's just straight uh, straight up trying to clean up fights here, see if he can catch a weak player to get himself some extra points. And he's actually by himself. So he's playing a win solo dolo here. 15 players left. So, Monster, I mean, you've been in these types of situations, right? Yep. What are you thinking going into top top 20, top 15, top 10? You get a confidence boost, yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, okay. once you're here, you it's almost like uh, you, you kind of feel a little bit, a sense of relief. Like, okay. I made it to the end game. Mm -hmm. Now it's just time to play textbook. If you play textbook, you will find yourself, you know, having more success. Especially, like, right here. You know this guy's by himself up here because they would have already realized, oh, dude, it's only one guy fighting at us. Let's push this, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, he gets the knock. That guy must have been lit up from the storm here. Oh, these guys are playing a dangerous game in the storm. He's going to actually get two kills. Nice, nice, and this nice. is what we're talking about. Even if you're by yourself, it's not over till it's over, you know? So look at that. This guy's going to get himself a point right there. there. Player eliminates the storm. He's got to keep that pressure up. This is this is an opportunity that he probably won't get nice. again. Wow. It is nice. another point. Just vulturing two eliminations there. That was a quick one. Look at look at he just decided to go straight for the low ground. He wants to loot. So this is Teeksy and Skewer. Over to Jay Biz and Kinstar. Oh, and I mean, Kinstar's still alive here. Yeah, he's got, man. These guys got eliminations. Look like they're doing good. I mean, Kinstar is one of those like unbelievably consistent players, right? He just always makes it to late game. Like no matter what you do, if if this team doesn't win though, they're still going to be so low in points here. They, this as a right. squad right here, they've only racked up one elimination. Mm -hmm. So every play here matters. Uh, they have enough loot to be hyper aggressive and try and really prioritize this next zone with that launch pad. I think they got to turn up the, the gas pedal here and get there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, the the five points from the victory out is nothing to scoff at, but I, I agree, you know, at, at this point, and look at this, a final elimination there. I mean, at this point, you just need these points. Every single elimination matters. Yeah, absolutely. And yes, there's prizes to be handed out per match, but there's also that cumulative bonus that everyone's These guys, these guys waited till last minute, and they're just going to launch pad in on the squad here. They find a player that's already knocked, so he's not even going for the thirst. Notice they just want to get the kills. They just want, they just want these points. They're just diving on this player here. I don't know oh, who that no, was, no. but that bounce they need to get take advantage. Hot, uh, aggressive was, I, I like it, 10 out of 10. Still in the storm. He's got to bounce out. Oh, misses He's... the bounce. Oh, oh no. no. It's not over, though. He can, he can actually crawl his way to the next zone here. So it's just King Star. What do you do in this situation, right? He didn't, and he didn't get the elimination. They didn't take advantage of it. That's what I was talking about. They should have, they you had to be hyper, hyper aggressive there. Wait until the last moment is you're playing with fire. You're yeah, really yeah. playing with fire. Look at this. Skewer finds an RPG. It's, you know what else is crazy? These guys have not taken high ground once. What, what's going on? They're just like chilling out here, but they're they're racking up points. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're doing good.
I, I think it's interesting, like, how we've seen kind of the meta develop Playing over the low course of right now. Uh, Summer Skirmish. Is like, we, for a long time, players thought high ground is the only key to victory. But, like, these guys are showing us. They're on the lowest ground possible, and they're still showing up. And remember, remember what I told you? There was two ways you could do it. You can choke players out when you have zone playing the low ground by holding them out. Or you can take the high ground and, and really apply some heavy pressure. Right. Like, you can, you can see uh, before that, the launch pad play coming in is also a risk. So, no, nobody's safe no matter what. You just got to play your best game. SK just trying to make his way into the new circle. He's With super low. bridge, and he has no more oh, man. Oh, no no mats. materials. Nope, that's it. He's got to make this edit play here. Every move matters. If he even falls right here, it's over. Wow, the RPG gets him a, a, a free knock right there. Oh, man. He's, he, I, if I were him, throw all your clingers. Use your resources. Don't, you know, don't get eliminated with them. Use them. You don't know what you can make happen here. Especially with he's, three eliminations. He's got no HP. If he falls down, <laughs> literally any fall damage. This is getting really intense here, guys. <laughs> oh, he was eliminated. So now it's four players left. Beehive here. This is a 2v2. We have, I'm pretty sure it's uh, TC down at the bottom ground level. And these guys have high ground. Look, uh, he must have he must have realized someone just got knocked by the storm. They caught that on the kill feed, and the excitement levels rose on this team. So they're here. Uh, they know. They know. Yup. Oh, they those, have those grenades. grenades. With this game, right off the back wall. Both of those are gonna catch they him. One That's a double explosion. <laughs> What a play! Wow, a and then play. the sob afterward. Oh man! So I think so. Let's talk about that. That was textbook, right? That was so textbook. Why was that textbook? Tell me why. It, he prioritized the high ground. The okay. squad had it, and they know they saw immediately from the kill feed that it was a two v two. They had the high ground. They took advantage, and you see, you saw the ricochet with the with the nades before the team below them got to set up. All the explosions. They didn't even expect it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll have the final moments coming in from that final game in just a moment. But man, I'm I'm excited. This was only the first yeah, game of this game. That's got day. my heart going. It's uh, so what's <laughs> so interesting funny. is that uh, toward at one point there was like just eliminations like crazy. It, it was popping off. Yeah, it really did. Do you think that's the way to go though? Like, do you think that's what we're gonna see from these games? I've I've been there. It's so hard to just get in there and steamroll people you're not going to steamroll and you have to give everyone a lot of respect in your battles so playing hyper aggressive for me i think it's a high risk high reward i don't take it i'll wait till end game and really just rotate on in comfortably okay and try and clean up battles and, and make sure i'm in like you said textbook the, the best position possible yeah it, it's the way you carry your squad to victory definitely let's take a look at the final moment coming in from our first game of eu man oh man so Beehive and Blood find themselves a victory Look royale. Look at that. Oh, so clean. Just bouncing back. And they, he catches not one, but two, right? This his teammate was not. He, they read that off the storm and jumped in. They yeah. knew. That's such an awesome play. So that means, at minimum, they're walking with five points for the victory royale. And we saw, uh, I think, uh, Blood actually had three eliminations. So we'll yep. have the scoreboard up in just a little bit. We can see where the players fell after first game. But what did? What were you happy to see there from the first game? What my, my favorite part was the uh, the retail role play. Mm -hmm. It was kind of crazy. He was battling under pressure, right, with wood. Hit a quick transition. Went to metal. Used all his metal right away in that situation. And that's because he knows the game. Mm -hmm. Metal starts with more HP, right? He has better odds of playing defense. And although you sacrifice your best materials, I mean, it was worth it. They got a kill uh, elimination right after that. Yeah. Diving they found the, the on Gabby and Fixer. That's right. Let's take a look at the highlights coming in from our first game of the day. That's such a... Oh, this, this is early on. Yeah. We call the spot uh, right here, Flush Factory 2.0. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> DK over at Gus. Oh, these guys played this so well as well. Mm -hmm. and, and there was another squad here rolling up. Yep. It, you know, it's crazy. Uh, the squad didn't come in to try and clean these guys up. I think they realized this fight started and ended. Right, yeah, yeah. Straight up, it was over. There's so much action. And it's this right here, clean play. Doesn't even expect it. Look at that headshot. Wait, wait, wait. Nice, nice. <laughs> He's like, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. Come back. Come back. Oh man, I'm I'm really excited to see this duo, Tinny and Yarl. Oh, Honestly, that was a great game one. Yeah. That was a really good game. We still have four games. That was game one was great. Oh my gosh. Goltaga. Oh, oh. Man, we didn't even see that one. Oh that must my have been gosh. a submitted clip. Shout out to whoever submitted that one. <laughs> Caught that guy. Yeah, don't forget, guys, you guys can submit clips. 
do that. We gotta watch if, it together. If you guys catch something that you, you know, your favorite streamer you wanna see up here, submit those clips, do them the favor. See you later, mate. <sighs> Dude, there's just so many clean plays. Oh yeah, you can, you can see, look at how many players are running pump after the change here. Right. A lot of players thought it wasn't gonna be a, a, a big change, but now that, that, that feel of having that high DPS even slightly faster, these, you know, competitive players definitely appreciate it. Yeah. You know what we haven't seen yet is the uh, the rift to go. Yep, yep. Dude, and yep. the new POI. You asked me what I want to see. I want to see an end game high ground retake with the rift to go. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna jump out of my seat. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. I can't backflip. Especially, I, I, I guarantee I'll have so much adrenaline. I'll hit one step. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to do it. And look here, the final moments. The winning explodes right here. Just like you're saying, off the backboard. See, his teammate was already knocked. He was in, probably in the middle of a revive. Didn't even realize he didn't have time to react. Really. Yeah. It's happened that quick. And they made the the really quick play there because they that you when we watched they started yelling out they're like go 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 because they saw one player went down and then just followed up. That's right. Grenades there to play. So uh, for anyone that might just be joining us, and you probably are wondering, what's the format, Zeke? It's what's what's for week seven. With this week, we're going with big bonus. So we're gonna play a total of five matches, and players are fighting for the most points. Eliminations are worth one points. Victory Isles are worth five. And if your duo can find eight or more eliminations, you get an additional five points. So if you meet that threshold, you're gonna hit the board with 13 points. Right. I can't and wait to see that. As far as the schedule goes, that was just game one, guys. We have four more games, uh, and this is the EU scene. So the EU is going to be going on from 9 a.m. to roughly about 12 o'clock after game five finishes. We're going to break, and then we'll resume with the NA games later on today. Yep. Man, and there's so, so again, the, the modification we've made is the prize. There is per match prizing, but then at the end of the day, they're also fighting for a cumulative bonus And I, I love this. I love the cumulative for placing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So this is going to reward consistency, top to bottom, first attempt. Yeah, definitely. We also have a new lineup of players here joining us in EU. So let's take a look at some of the participants and check out some of the duos that are competing. Uh, I mean, you know, we saw the likes of Gotaga and Mikolau. Um, You can see Evil One and Say Hello. Svenos and Mitra, we saw Atlantis, they won, uh, what, three weeks ago at this point? Yeah, actually, before the official event, I was watching Svenos and Mitra kind of train. Yeah. I mean, they were slain in pubs. Really? <laughs> yeah, they're doing great. <laughs> uh, I'm very uh, also excited because we saw uh, Isaac and Leia together. We saw uh, Loya and Atlantis, so Majin and Mitra played. They were the duo from a few right. weeks ago, so now they're playing with different players. Um, yeah, man, is there anyone you're here that you're like really looking forward to seeing? I mean, I want to see more of my boy Etnix. I think yeah. we saw him kind of come up there, and you know, he he had a little bit of limelight there. He, he popped yeah. a little elimination and stuff. So <laughs> I, I've never seen like I want to see his teammate, right? Cronval. Why did he choose Cronval this week? Mm -hmm. Interesting. So what? Now let's let's get a little technical here. Why do you make the decisions in choosing your teammates? Um, like I, I know you've competed basically like every week. Yeah, for me, honestly, it's about comfortability. Yeah. You know, believe it or not, I brought one of my moderators in. Who's Whoa. You know, he's a, he's above average player, but he's just a community member, and we're so cool. We we placed we were four eliminations away from being top twenty when it was only a top twenty payout, okay. which is you know it's no easy feat. Like we were right there, we're knocking on the door, dude. <laughs> we were so close to almost pulling it, but you know that's the kind of person I am. Mm -hmm. Comfortability for me, I know I can play at my best. I know at the very least our comms are gonna be great. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna be you know it's not gonna be weird. Yeah. So what kind of like advice, right, can you give players? Because you, for you guys at home that don't know, Monster actually has a YouTube channel. He has a bunch of tutorial type videos. You should absolutely check him out. So what advice can you give players that are looking to level up their game and maybe like trying to find their comfortable zone, right? Yeah, honestly, uh, there's different types of play styles out there, right? I'm more of a defensive type play style. I know I'm not the strongest builder. Pinpoint your weaknesses and then play to your strengths. Mm. Uh, so the YouTube channel is basically news and... Uh, tutorial style content so i try to keep you guys up to the, uh, date on the meta awesome here we go ladies and gentlemen we are hopping into our second game for eu paradise palms how do you enjoy uh, the new season five map oh i love it yeah uh, ian paradise palms is one of my favorite spots to land really dude yeah. everyone that i've asked this question so to, great. i ask the same thing how do you feel about paradise palms and people are like I don't know. It's, I don't it's like going underrated, there. and I'm fine with that because that allows you know <laughs> it allows me to take advantage, dude. Yeah, yeah. And you know what I like about Paradise Palms? Uh, different to Tilted, right? Let's just speaking about it. Looks like these guys are going straight for Tilted. Tilted is a hot zone. Your center is big places. You know players are going to go there. Right. Paradise, not a hot zone. Mm -hmm. You have rifts to rotate out to get to center, and you have the the same amount of loot you can score in Tilted. People like going here because the amount of chest you can score yourself. Right. So you can minimize your threat levels by being at the edge of the map 
and still come out on top because the rifts, the rifts allow you to get to anywhere. That's why these Paradise teams are consistent at making it to endgame. Yeah, absolutely. Racetrack teams. You guys, you see all these guys come in. That's why Razor does well. Look at that. First thing, launch pad. Launch pad. That is absolutely huge. That is a game changer for uh, for any situation. You can use it defensively, offensively. It's a, it's a very nice, uh, versatile uh, trap to have in your uh, arsenal early on. So here's the thing, no weapons, just the launch pad. Yeah, notice, they, no one landed here. He's not even going for weapons right now. He's like, ah, oh, we're good. Let's get all the mats. You know, what I mean? he's, he's got that comfortability, <laughs> but that's the, that's the intimidation factor of Tilted Towers. Right. You know what you're going to get if you're going there. They were there for action. Early knock, the dual pistol. Wow, dude, I love seeing a dual pistol plays, man. You know, low key, I think dual pistols are so meta right now because of the DPS to break walls mm. with the changes to the SMG. Yeah, yeah. Dual pistols have a place in this game. So interesting landing. Junk, Junction, Kevster, and Young land here, but there was also that other duo we saw him down a player. Yeah, you know, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a fan of the Junk Junction spawn. It's great for, let's say, guns, right? You can get what you want here, but materials you're going to be lacking if you don't push uh, Haunted. And do you do you have time to push Haunted when you got a fight like this going on? You got to end it quick. There it is. They get themselves two eliminations. I mean, that's two points on the board, right? See, look, he battled with no materials. That's what I don't like about Junk Junction right. is the material count. Look at this, hopping over to Ukes, and look, his teammate is already down in Greasy Grove. So the thing is, you know, if you, anytime you see triple threat with the wings, you know that's Ukes. Ukes is consistent. <laughs> that's what he runs. And, I mean, Ukes is a really great player, so for sure his teammate is down, but that doesn't mean that th this duel is out of the game. Right? Oh, it's not. I mean, we saw what happened last time. Uh, the player, Snork Ops, high ground, picks two off of the Storm Push, right? He's got zone. He can take his time with this battle here. Notice he's just going to heal. He's going to take his time with this battle. He's got a, he's got a uh, Disco Bomb here. If he uses the he uses the, the, the bomb, it's, it should, the Boogie Bomb, he should be good here. I think he might be trying to figure yeah, look, out. Yeah, look, look, he pulled the boogie out. He realizes, because if someone pushes you, you boogie, he's going to double barrel stuff this guy. It's going to be great. This is going to be a highlight. There's a second play. It, it's a highlight waiting to happen. Watch this. 100%. This is it. Boogie. There I knew it. Coming down, double barrel. Oh, pre. Oh, he got him, though. Star. What a play, dude. He's laughing. Look, like he's feeling it. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing, right? So This guy's got four spectators on him. So here's, here's like <laughs> it just the, went the down good here. thing about this, right? Is like one, you find an el elimination on two on a duo. That's right. And it's the likes of Keenstar, right? So you got to feel pretty good. It's got to give if, you nice confidence. Put it like boost. this: Keenstar was top ten last round. Mm -hmm. You just eliminated a top ten duo. What that means? Your rotations just increase. You're doing so good right now. Yeah. You you took out some titans this game for sure. Starly and Alkin. In Pleasant Park, it looks like oh, it kind of have intense. far way to go, but the storm only moves in about a minute. Yeah, but notice the patience right here. He's not even, you know, he doesn't, he's really hesitant about giving up that high ground. And now that they know for a fact he's in the building, he dive down. Duel inside, so he finds one here. But we'll be careful. His teammates on the low ground here. Yep, see, he doesn't want to push in there and play that 50 50 shock in battle. He's trying to just keep his distance here. Keep the pressure up for his, for his teammate. Now he's out of, not, out of completely out of materials. Yep, there it is. He's gonna break that wall. He knows exactly where he's at. Look at look at the maneuvering here. His mind games. Nothing but mind games. Walking around, trying to figure out the exact point of entry here. You know, he's probably gonna break the ground. What's funny? Too. Oh, oh he, he, he did. He heard him drop down. And he okay. finds the nice elimination nice flames. flames. Woo! Nice you know what's, try, what I actually no, like, and maybe people don't we'll think about, about is if you're listening in, you can actually hear footsteps, right? So oh, as yeah, a absolutely. player, if you're hopping around changing elevations, you're actually confusing your enemy, right? Because they, they hear you in front, now they hear you above, now they hear you below. And, they, and, and more, honestly, more importantly, them. you don't want to touch the ground too often. The mm -hmm. ground makes a, a very distinctive right. sound. Yeah. So when he landed ground level, he knew. He, yeah. he jumped down right away. He gave exactly. it up. See, so yeah. yeah, at first he was he wasn't sure. He's in the attic. He's in this room right here. But once he jumped on ground level, that was that was the giveaway. Mm -hmm. Forward to dominate and peekaboo. It's looking pretty good. I mean, he's on the he's on the pressure right here. He's very limited on mat, so he can't stay here and uh, kind of you know turbo wall off for too long. Oh, he hit him once. You heard the call out right there. That guy's in critical, critical positioning here. It looks like they're... Okay, you can so hear it. Oh, someone else is pushing him. That was the call out right there. Double barrel eats when he's got a rift to go in his arsenal here. So it's going to be interesting to see if he sacrifices it early on. The other team tries to take advantage. Incredible Orv goes down there. Easily going to push that. You got to thirst that elimination. 
Use the rift to go. Just do it, dude. Just do it. Just do it. Monster wants to see it. Get do it. Points. <gasps> Peek goes down. Oh no. See, that's what happens when you split up. You make that 1v1 play. Oh, this guy's so hurt. He can secure this if he, if he commits here. Lucky him, his teammate's still alive. I would go with the res here. You think so? Go for the res. Yeah, pull out the middle, uh, throw the wall down. The, the dude up top is in critical, right? You know he's hurt. Yeah, he just said come down here. Oh, no, he didn't even fix the wall. I don't know. This is so risky. This is, yeah. Look at the, the, he wasted valuable seconds there as well. Valuable seconds. I mean, and, and we talked about this a little bit, right? As you're making noise, you're drawing the attention of other players, so... His teammate needs to fall all the way. Yeah, look, he made the call. This is a good call here. Okay, now you box. Okay, okay. It's okay. Now we're going for the revive. Peekaboo's going to get pulled up. Okay, nope. The enemy's not giving him that time, right? Oh, no, you're... Dude, pull out the med. Oh, my God. He finds the elimination? Pre-firing. Pre-firing the wall. He caught it right there. That was so risky. 18 HP, any SMG would have took him out. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, so now once you get your revive, just Peek use the rift on the go and just just use it. Monster still wants to see it. Oh, no way, he did it! What the? They're out. <laughs> okay, so if you guys at home... He didn't even go for the loot. This is out. Like, whatever, dude. Let's get out of here. Make so much noise. So for you guys at home, this is a new item in the game. You probably don't know about it, but let's talk about it, It's Monster. the best item in the game. So you've seen the rifts around the map. Now this is literally a rift that sits in your pocket. Once you pop it, okay, I just pocket pop it. That was crazy. <laughs> when you activate it, it literally creates a rift around you. So, like, let's say there was four people. We actually put out a video about it. But if you're support four people in this ATK and then they pop it, everyone is going. It behaves like a rift. So, literally, you just create a rift anywhere you are. And you, you talked about it. I think, like I in think that final end game, just being like, rift. Right, honestly, now I, I, think it's, I think it's the best utility item in the game right now, without a doubt. Uh, you know, early on, we looked at, like, launch pads as mm -hmm. the best thing to find. Rifts are so much more versatile, being that you can use it in build battle while turtled, right? You can... And the way Rift works in comparison to Launchpad, how low you can dive, your elevation. You can literally right. touch feet down on a player, basically, in a build battle or something like that. So Right, because Launchpad, you can't do that. Yeah, you can't. You, you, there's a certain threshold that you have to kind of pull your shoot at, but not with the Rift. The Rift really changes that dynamic up. So if someone hears someone launch padding in, just imagine what they think, right? If it's a Rift pad you know, or a Rift dive, uh, you don't know. You just hear the sound. It's going to be harder to uh, to kind of make that that adjustment off where. Look at this, Svenos and Mitra, they're finding themselves here in a close range battle, and looks like someone else is sniping at range. So there's a, he, they're, they're engaged right now with the duo. There's someone else trying to third party. It's Kevster, Kevster goes down. So now we have to see, is Mitra gonna m commit here and make the down. elimination, get the point? I, I think he has to dive down, get, get that point in. right there. Yeah. Where's where's his teammate I here? Uh, I yes, believe the yeah. enemy's team was very down low. Holy okay, so they're here in the box. Stickies. He's trying to blow the stickies here. One lands down there. He gets the knocked one, and there. Oh, he didn't actually get the teammate. There it is. Is he gonna go back for the high ground? Yeah, it's, it looks like it's gonna be a nice little build battle here. He needs to be careful, man. This oh, is pretty, wow. Hey. Okay, so Young is eliminated. That was pretty clean. You know, I like that, that he, he separated. He then used the clingers. Now, his, the enemy there was smart and saying, like, I hear clingers, dude. You're dead. I, I, it's either we both go or we stand a chance if we separate. But Mitro says, look, I've won this before. so uh, This guy's got a lot of pressure on him here. He actually just picked up an elim elimination, clutching up, because he's by himself here. He's got four. Yeah, he wrapped up a team by himself just now. Another team's trying to come in and get him while he's weak. Oh, uh, look at this here. These guys are full descending on a squad. There's actually multiple teams here. He's going to be able to get this high ground here. Player is boxed up. He's not even trying to replace the wall. He's just trying to bully here. Bully as best as, as best as he can. There it is. He takes it out. Got him. Nice. Catches it was Tinny. Of Tinny. He wow. played good last round. So if he if his teammate gets taken out here, then that's gonna cost him. Yep. So Lycan do finds and eliminates Tinny there. Gets the point. Gets the mats. It's a build battle going on here. Who's gonna take the high ground? And back to Skype. Skite still alive. He actually turns the tables with no HP, putting pressure on his opponents. You can see he has C4 in his arsenal, so he must have used C4 to reset this build battle. And now he's got the high ground over these, this team here. He's got a player to his right. If he lets him breathe for too long, though, they're going to gain the confidence to bounce back after they heal up. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it takes two seconds to pop a mini four for both, yep. so... He's, he's got to make the decision long. to push or, or pull here. Mitro and Svenos, they're at the edge there of Loot Lake. Now, the storm is coming in, but it looks like it'll be coming in very slowly, so this, the circle must be very close. 
So they're just taking time to farm. I'm materials noticing right the now. EU scene running much more double barrels here. Yeah. Look at how many players are running that double barrel. And honestly, it's not a bad idea to like mix up your loadout with your teammate. Maybe one person run Juggernaut with that super heavy close quarter DPS. And that's the thing. So we've kind of seen this meta develop a little more with the like double this, barrel, right? Because like it only has two shots. It's a very long reload. Yep. But man, that damage up front is so front loaded that if you catch people wrong, like in some cases, if they're low enough, you just instant down them, right? Like, oh yeah. Even it's, it's even if like things, twenty five shield. It, you hear it, you got to respect it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like literally, it's like hearing someone pop off with the, the heavy sniper. Mm -hmm. You you don't want to get shot by that. You're gonna pre wall just in case. You know you don't want to risk yeah. it. Uh, you hear someone with that double barrel, you, you don't want to close quarter him, honestly. They're making their way near Tilted Tower. Now, I think they actually cleaned up the Pleasant Park team, too. Oh, look, so Reckon's actually joined in on this fight, but someone else got the elimination. Look at this. Look at this battle here. Gotaga TV falling down with his teammate Mikola. So it looks like Isaac Live and his squad mate are up in the air here. Yeah, so Isaac's teammate was Lay. Lay is down. So now it's a 2v1v1. Reckons has the high ground. Oh, Reckons is by himself, right? Yep. Gotaga oh, and Mikola are down low. So so you know who's the most the most player at risk? This guy right here. He's at the most risk here. And you see so why Isaac. He, yep. was, he was stuck in the middle. He couldn't dive down because he knows the team below him. Can it go up? It's hard to take high ground from a good player who's got high ground. It's a very difficult thing to do. You gotta think this is also kind of look at, frustrating. Look at the disengage for, right there. You gotta think this is also frustrating for Mikel and Gotaga because they missed out on, on an elimination. Right. So it's one less point they have access to. I mean, right and, and then playing so passive, Reckons backs off. Now now Reckons rotates into a whole nother squad here. Gotaga's gonna hear this. These guys are gonna come back, I'm pretty sure, from their from their defensive stand right now. This guy's gonna get shot. Look at this. Oh, Ryan. blocks out the high ground, makes a quick edit. Look at how swift the e Oh my gosh. So this that's right here. Is crazy. The Separates the teammate. This guy's insane. He is turning up right now. Gets the point there. All he's asked, he just has to play defense right here. Exactly what he does. He's gonna chill, get his armor back up. Ooh. Shielding back up. That's that's the uh slurp, slurp, and he's got two of them. I like this though. Doing all this with a great tactical, mind you. <laughs> mind you, great tactical. And he's getting chunky, oh, chunky points. Gosh. Oh, it doesn't put the wall down. Jeez. So Mikolo finds the elimination. This is him now. And now there's actually one other player. So there's another elimination on the board here. It's exactly what I told you. Gotago is going to hear that the player disengaged and there was a fight going on right there, coming in to clean things up. Oh man, look at this. And now they have a slurp so that he can pass that over to Gotaga. Honestly, he didn't I was just going to say, he doesn't realize the other player's still there. Oh, dude, ah. he gets this trade. Right, because they thought, you know, they, they got the one player they were fighting. Yeah, he might. Have, they must have thought it was the one. But that's Reflection that they're engaging right now. Honestly, Gotaga has to back up Mikolau here. He can't let Reflection continue this pressure. Okay. And there it is. He's doing it. So now it's time for him to make the move. Oh, I thought he was going to oh, He's on choking up on the edits. Looks like he's just playing it kind of safe here. He's going to go a little bit higher. No. Oh, and he finds a reflection. Doesn't, miss a shot. doesn't even miss a shot. Did that while jumping. Well, and his reward? <laughs> a gold heavy? Okay. Oh, talking about the heavy. <sighs> Dude, I mean, if anyone knows how to use this gold heavy, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, gonna it's actually Monster D Face. We watched last week. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hype oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Later. Monster landed just this <laughs> disgusting <laughs> uh, snipe last week. I was week. feeling it. I was in Dude, top form last week. I think what I appreciated about your snipe, too, was like you just you were moving and you just looked to your right and you pulled the trigger and without skipping a beat, you just kept moving. And then and your, your teammate KP was like, did I didn't you just? I didn't bat an eye. I was like, yeah, we got that. Let's go. Let's get that. Let's go get that. So I told her. I told her. Uh, and it's something that you have to, uh, you, you make that decision in, in advance, right? Mm -hmm. I see that the player keeps, you know, hard peeking me, overextending, you know, and I let him gain the confidence to do it again. And I mm. baited him into the shot. So I had my crosshair pre-ready on the flick, turned to the side, bopped him in the forehead. <laughs> wow. Dude, that's, I mean, that's the thing, right? Like, this is all one big mind game. How do you get the players to do what you need them to do to lock down Elon? Oh yeah, it's it's a game within a game, and the way the way I see competitive Fortnite is like 99% decision making, 1% battling. Honestly, really, you just choose the right battles. They're gonna end, and they're gonna end in your favor real quick. So do you do you think that battles are like almost like predetermined? Like the the battles won before the battle happens based on your decisions? Most of the time, okay. Because at that point, the only time you you make a mistake is if you make the mistake, right? Right. You right. mess up your edit, you mess up your play, because you know when you have something. And in your mind, you know you know how you want to execute it. Like right here, he knows he doesn't want to dive down just yet, right? Look at him replacing the walls before it happens, ricocheting these grenade launchers. He doesn't want to give up the high ground. Look at how he's holding it, textbooking this uh, this battle here. 
He's gonna try and break down. This was an enemy controlled floor, enemy roof here. He's replacing that, quick replace. Takes that one as well. Oh, wow. But that tells him that the player's not there, right? Yeah, that's the, you know, for him to, to grab two walls like that, it's extremely hard to do. See, look, the player was outside making a move already. Ooh, the jump shot with the heavy shotgun. He's got that. This is so lit. He should have dived in on that, honestly. Oh, he catches him before he touches down. First shot accuracy. A hundred range there. I mean, that was basically like a pixel, right? The, that that player was so far away. There was no way. And yet they find And look at that. Look at that loadout upgrade. Now have himself a, a, a epic assault rifle here. A, a heavy, a gold heavy. So good. Oh, here, here's our last game winners, Beehive. And Blood, they're inside the... Oh, my. Do you, no, did you no see that gigantic... Server. Look at how they're playing to win. Do you see that gigantic structure there on, coming in on the east? Like, look at that thing. They respect it, too. See the walls he's putting up? Just so he doesn't get shot in the back, using the ramps to give him a little bit of uh, comfortability on the moving back there. Was that a rift to go? I don't. I think they're just holding an actual rift spawn there, just in case, right? In case right, right. Yeah, this, this is another shot. Oh, that was Boya. Boya. Oh no! Unbelievable. So hard to defend against the uh, the grenade launcher at this range here. Oh look, I was just gonna say he keeps pre-peeking the same spot, and another team took advantage of it. Yeah, they they see they see that. You're lucky that that guy didn't have a sniper, actually. So Loya goes down there. I mean, there's still one player there, right? All right, look, the dude's still trying to build metal all around. <laughs> he is determined to save the rift. Yeah, he's like, this is my rift. My rift. Yep, yep. Oh, these guys are not with it. They're coming down for that. They want that. They want Loya's loot for sure. Here comes the bully. He's Whoa. in the box. I, th I think he just confused himself. Oh, no, he's on him. He's on him. They, he took the rift. Okay, yeah. so he, they've got 10 seconds to make the decision. Do they follow up? But you know what? Uh, it wasn't even worth it. They just lost positioning on the high ground. They got 60 mats off that. The teammate already scooped everything. Yeah. Rifted out. And then rifted out. Over to Archangel here and Jam's side. We're watching this guy ricochet these grenade launchers off of everything. But, yeah. And that's what you got to learn how to do, right? shot. Oh. Almost makes it in the okay. window there. That guy just lucked out. Monster, check out this map. So now we can kind of get a more detailed view. See where players are. Everyone's on top of each other here. Oh, Beehive is actually on a rotation here. And you have in Imperial coming from right underneath him. No one is safe. Everyone has a squad on them. And there was like a dry spot on the map there. You notice like it's kind of an empty uh, a zone, but yeah. it doesn't even matter. Every team right now has another squad right on top of them. 19 players left, well, mind you. Do, yeah. Storm's moving. So now they have to rotate over to the storm, right? Because the new circle's within the storm. It's pretty. It's not too far. And realistically, like the way the storm is going to move, you know, they could buy it a little bit of time. I mean, they still have 50 seconds to wrap up this battle. Notice how they're replacing as many walls as possible here, forcing this player to get lower and lower to ground level. And they have bouncers, so these guys, although they're far from the next zone, they, they should have a like relatively smooth rotation. So what does that rotation look like? Tell me. Uh, honestly, these guys are probably going to build up a couple layers. Oh, actually, it has a bouncer as well. Yeah, they're going to do a mega bounce here. Yep, they're going to set up the uh, I love bounce right, right into the launch pad, get the super high elevation, and they're probably going to park right underneath this big base here. Here you have it. In a park right here, get themselves a nice little uh, you know, high ground. They're going to play right off this. Monster, something I want to point out is this player here is five eliminations. You can tell because Unicorn is very excited. Look at the colors. <laughs> yeah, the Rainbow is sitting here saying, I have eliminations, friends. That's right. Kotaga and Mikalau on high ground across oh, the way. This is not where they want to be. With one second on a storm, they have such a long rotation. No bouncers. Yeah, they're just going on foot. They're going for it. They probably should have made this decision to uh, push a lot sooner. But I mean, every squad's got to go, right? And th that's what I talk about, no preemptively way. baiting a team out. And uh, it, he should have time to save him. He should have time to save him. They're not going to be able to capitalize on a knock. But hey, I mean, he's going to come out with no HP, so they're probably still going to retake this elimination soon. Right after that, revive goes off. So Skewer and Teeksy also have that two RPGs. <laughs> Look at how 
many players are alive? Oh, this is going to be insane. So there's literally fights happening just about everywhere. We see Gotaga and Mikalau, there's a team above them. Across another squad. Monster, there's 15 players left. Oh, no. That's a knock right there. His teammate's down. TXC. Oh, he doesn't get the same, but he gets in the box. Those. Oh, my gosh. Those headshots. Rift to go. Uh, Monster, are we going to see the play we've been waiting all day to it's, see? It's happening right now. 100%. Oh, he picked it up. He picked. He dropped, a, he just dropped one of his RPG. No! Topski <sighs> finds the elimination, and now it's their rift. What what happened there was that uh, the wall was replaced, and he edited it down, so he tried to build a wall that he couldn't protect himself. He didn't yeah. realize. Oof. Okay, 12 players left. Look at Gotaga. Doing so good here. Super shielded up. He's got great materials. They made it out of that far rotation. They got another far rotation. Make. There's no, someone here. Someone snuck up on him. And he's just trying to get the point. Is he going to be able to? Okay, so Gotaga has 15 HP. He's down one, so now he's Save your teammate, two. dude. Save your teammate. You're running out of time. What's that? Oh, come on. He's trying to back. come back. He's trying to come back. You got to get back. Gotaga's only got five HP. Yep. Or is he going to do it? I think it's too late. Oh, pressure's on him. He's oh, camping the edit. Storm. He doesn't realize. He doesn't realize it's a pizza triangle already. Oh, <laughs> no. Okay, so now he's got to try and make his way in this Can't storm. blame him for that. He just didn't notice. Oh, look at that little red panda there on the right. Look how cute it is. Oh, look, he's got the rift to go. Oh, this is a great RPG shot. It's oh, gonna bring down the entire structure. The storm is ticking Structure down. Ten. His high ground now. Oh my gosh. Look at this bird's Sivanos eye view. right in the middle. Solo Dola, his teammates right on the edge here. So Sivanos and Mitro have the uh, advantage on a storm here. These guys are so high in the air. Now, do you just bring everyone else's structure down? Do you just say, like, honestly, he needs to come down just a little bit. He doesn't even have bouncers ready on his, uh, oh, no. his inventory level. Oh, he and that's why, right there. That's really why. He's not on much of anything, really. He's floating. If if Mitro notices this battle, he can like just straight pick him out the sky. And you see how quickly he was like, okay, I got brought down, and then you saw him build up. So now he's just going reinforcing, trying to set up more area, more play space. This is good. Six. He's not even putting uh, roof panels over these. I think now he decides to. Yeah, he realizes you're skating on thin ice, your brother. We can double ramp up. Down below is Venos and Mitro. So Mitro consistently, I'm talking consistently, makes top 10. And with the so, likes of Svenos as his dual partner, oh man. I'm not sure if you know this, but Svenos has a, like one of the highest win ratios. For a long while too, he's got a crazy win ratio. So his game sense, next level. So now they're going to start making their way into the the next circle here. Everyone's it's floating moving. here. They're right off. They just walked off a mountain. <laughs> they just, oh just, just my walked gosh. off a mountain, dude. It's just an air game now. Everyone's in the air. Everyone's in the air. Oh, it's a left team. Nick A talked about it like two weeks ago. He was like, I want to see a sky up. battle. Let's, this, let's this have a is, sky. This is this a sky is battle right here, literally. It's a 2v2. Both teams are in the sky. Uh -oh. RPG. Oh, no. oh. And that's my what goes down. But the, the guys up top have the RPG. Savannah is literally going to have the battle of his life right now. All eyes on Svenos. It's a 1v2 right took now. Took a quick peek at the eliminations. I think these guys are, Svenos is so close to the big bonus. He's, uh, four with a two. Oh no, it's, it'd only be six, but hey, get those eliminations. Yeah, and Ben, the victory out with a five, if he can pull it off. If he can just get one. The team up top has the rift to go. No traps for Sven. Oh! oh he gets caught, good try. <laughs> Just man, like I mean, you know, that that's, yeah, I, thought that I want to, again, to it's not exactly textbook, really but man, they made a really aggressive play there right at the start, firing the RPG. We saw Mitro try to retaliate and then unfortunately fell to his death. Not not just one RPG, two RPGs. Two RPG. <laughs> that's yeah. how you win your game. Two RPGs, ladies and gentlemen. He's got, he's got the power of the splodes. <laughs> how do you feel about game two? That was a good one. Uh, happy to see Sven make it to you know second place. Yeah, it's close. I mean, hey, still you like to see it. We also have standings from game one. Let's take a Let's look at those that out. and see where players were after our first game. What did I tell you? Big bonus is so hard to get. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they were close though. So one elimination off. So what's interesting is a lot of those players have seven eliminations. One of those teams found themselves a victory out, so they only got two eliminations. But that five point bonus. Look at how that's well huge. Goes hard to play two games in a row. He is in top form right now. There you go. And there's also the top 20. So as of right now, Isaac and Le are your 20th team. Zach was rogue right behind them. And I mean, you know, we talk about it, but after the first game, the points are still really close. You've only, you've got a bunch of teams there with only two points. And, and think about it. Eliminations. You get a point for elimination. So if a team has two points, they only racked up two eliminations. It's hard to get these squads. Mm -hmm. It's really difficult. Yeah. Let's take a look at the final moments coming in from match number two of the day and see exactly how things unfolded.
Was that a bouncer down here? Oh, and he lands awesome. right on top of Sven. He knows he, they know exactly where he is. He's got a little bit of breathing room off to the side. And that's the pressure coming in from two different angles here. <laughs> I think the red panda there gave them the power they needed. Uh, and there's two red pandas. That was 10 points for them. 10 Bringing them straight points. to the top after that one. Dude, well played. and you know what I think was really smart was they had the sky base, but then they used the bouncer to get down. So, like, let's say hypothetically, Svenos had a, any kind of explode. He blows the whole thing. They're on a bouncer. That's so right. they had they had the safe landing that they needed. And he had a rift to go. And he had, it couldn't have been better for them, honestly. Listen, I just want to see a rift to go to get a victory out. That's all I want to see. Make it happen. We're going to lose our minds. Me and Monster will literally lose our minds. Backflip. Backflip. I will record it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not actually do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> We've got highlights coming in from our second game, the game of the day. Let's take a look at some of those. What we have here? Oh, man. Just a clean limb, just to start it off, you know. Beamed him. Oh, oh, man. All these points? Jeez. Marchi and Delo, they were uh, dual partners last week. Oh, lose his teammate. Okay. He finds Fickle. That's a pretty good trade. No. Ooh. Dude, with a 22. Another one. That player had, like, nothing. Like, maybe one HP. Jeez. That laser beam on Ednex. Sits him down right away. Oh, C4 is coming out. Yeah, they actually C4 has been uh, adjusted, right? They blow up everything in the in the radius now. Mm -hmm. Very strong. Talking Mikkel out. Trying to push up. Trying to find the advantage here. You call that bullying straight through with the drum gun. Teak skin skewer. Oh, man. Razor. Man, you know, Razor's just getting into these battles towards endgame and not going in his favor, unfortunately. You know, and that's Amar. We've seen Amar play every week. He's consistent as well. And it's it's tough, you know, the, the five eliminations on Amar right there. Wait. Oh. Okay, I thought he was going to, like, just take down a They're timing it. Look at the time. Look at the time. And hello. <laughs> oh, man. And here you go. The final moments from our this last game, match number two of the day. And you'll notice the pressure. Once they really realize that Venom is right here, he waits for his teammate, and then they go from two different angles, right? Yep. There you go. <laughs> Locking up game Love number two. Love hearing so, the excitement. Yeah, man. And Love again, it. that's five points heading their way for that victory out on top of any eliminations they have. That's what you like to see, man. Is this only the second game? We have three games left. I was respect. Whew. For you guys at home, how are you enjoying the action? Hit us with the hashtag Summer Skirmish. What do you think of the big bonus format? Send us your favorite clips, your favorite moments. We'll take a look at them together and obviously talk about how amazing Monster is and how he's helped you level up your play. Because, I mean, this guy's going to teach me a lot and ha already I hope, has. I, I honestly hope you guys are enjoying the breakdowns. These fights are intense. You're looking at the, some of the best players in the world. Uh, so I'm honored to be able to like kind of go head-to-head -head with you uh, you players out there, man. Yeah. Shoutcasting is fun. There's a <laughs> lot of awesome players. Uh, we also have a um, Twitch community clips, I believe, that have that, already been That submitted. is what I want to see. Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. have to get we'll, – we'll, we'll There's, there's, a, lot of, stuff, there's a lot of gold out there. Community, honestly, if you guys see something you like, send it in. Send it in. And we'll talk about it. If it's not from the stream, we'll talk about it. And we'll actually have Monster break it down for us. <laughs> talk about that high-level micro play. So what do you think, man? We've seen two games. What are What is something that you haven't seen yet that you're hoping to see? Now, this is outside of the Rift on the Go. That's We're putting that on the table. We want to see a Rift to Go to win the game. What I, what I will what tell you, you already noticed the difference in the loadouts. Uh, last week, Klinger Heavy meta already shaken up. Uh, last week, Heavy Shotgun meta. You see a lot of pumps out there. People are going back to their comfortability. Um, so j just off the loadout differences, I'm already you know getting a sense of change in in the way competitive play is happening. Yeah, I, we're seeing it you know kind of evolve in front of our eyes here. Yeah, definitely. I really want to see more uh, tomatoes. I want to see the new tomato town. Who's, who's got the tomato skin? I, How about that? Yeah, man. Throw it on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so for you guys that maybe don't know, there's a new POI in the game. Right. It's new tomato town. Go check it out. I'm not going to tell you anything tomato, about tomato it. Temple. The, yeah, tomato temple. Yeah, tomato temple. Go check it out. It's going to become a hot spot. I promise. Also, tomato head. Is actually back because remember he rifted away. He's got war paint now. It's, it's, it's crazy. He's leveled up. Go check it out. Take a second. Land there. Just be surprised. It's a. It's pretty new. It's a cool spot to be in. Sure. Um. So what is so like? Let's talk about this. I want. Uh, this is something I want to talk to you about. You've played in just about every week. Yep. Right. You've you've seen things. You've competed, and now you're here on this side. 
what is this side kind of like shown you, right? What what information have you learned in just these two games? Because we still have seven games throughout the day. <clears throat> Threat levels, right? Ooh. When we get to see that world map, mm-hmm. when you're in the, the player seat, you don't know who's around you. What Now sitting behind the, the seat, you know, here, I'm gaining more knowledge. You just realize that when you feel like the hairs on your neck sticking up, someone's nearby. No, they're nearby. Mm-hmm. There's players everywhere. And uh, it just gives you a better understanding of how players move around the map. Yeah, for sure. Uh, is there things that you've seen players do that maybe it's like, oh, I don't know about that, or or maybe you're like, no, 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 you guys, this now, is so the right far. Thing. I, I've kind of, if you guys notice it, like when I say, oh, this player should probably dive down here, they're like doing it, and it's because these are the these are the right maneuvers to make. And uh, players players are playing out of their mind, even on the defensive stance. Mm-hmm. You know, it's hard when you have two players kind of you know, pressuring down on you. Uh, I mean, these guys are surviving for quite some time, so it's pretty impressive. Yeah. How do you deal with situations where like? We kind of call it third partying, right? You're you're fighting one on one, and then some other team joins in. We kind of saw that a lot in this match too, specifically. We, we saw it in round one specifically. DK, as soon as they finished the battle, protected himself, healed quick, but went straight up to the high ground and just kind of scouted, made sure that everything was safe. What you want to do is you want to realize the longer your battle goes on, you know, subconsciously, your threat level is going higher and higher because you know other pl- people want to come in and clean things up. Mm-hmm. And, and if you finish your battle faster uh, or fast enough, a team will back off. So DK right. should have gotten pushed by that squad, but they got the eliminations quick. And the, the guy said, you know what? It's, it, this is kind of like a, just a fair 2v2. Do we really want to go in here? Right. Probably not. So they backed off. Yeah. What kind of a micro like micro advantages, right? Because like, this you gotta, is kind of a term. I, I call them little wins, you know? Little wins. Little, okay. Little win, you know? You got, you got a little something, <laughs> something right there. That's, that's a small win in its own. Take yeah. it. Yeah, so e- even if it's one. So like, what do you? What are? What is a small win to you, right? Like, what is? Because I, I, for some people may may not know this, but like micro advantages, right? These are little yeah. advantages you get to like get an edge before and taking a fight. It's something like not Vivid and I talked about mm-hmm. shooting a player while they're pushing you. You hit them once, that's like a mini shield. Right. You hit them twice, that's a big pop. Mm-hmm. That's a small win before the battle is even really broken out. Yeah. You're already winning. You're getting small advantages. That's how you win a game overall. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. No, Hopping like into the, our next match today. Uh, I also oh, we got I don't the know if you know this. right here. I don't know if you know this, but now a feature that has been added to the game, you can thank the bus driver. Oh, dude. I, I thank him all the time. You know, I appreciate I appreciate Yeah, he works all day, dude. Around the clock. Give, give the man some love. Honestly. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you're playing Fortnite today and, you know, you just find yourself jumping out of a battle bus. Make it your business. Yeah, make sure to thank the bus driver. You know, he, he does this literally 24-7. It's one guy, okay? He just hanging out. Just make, hey, thank you, and then hop out, and then, you know, bus, wipe bus your Bus drivers lobby. have feelings, too. Right, yes. Yeah. Very <laughs> important. So look at this. Jetpacks and Gamru. I love this spot, by the way. Ooh. It's, it's underrated. You can start off with 100 uh, stone here, and then weapons, right? Look, immediately, AR, catch the player down below. Natural high ground. A down, like, like what, what is that? Like, it's not even been 20 seconds yet. Headshot. First shot accuracy, look. Cleans him up right away. He's not wasting any ammo there, notice. You got to think Gamru's like, yeah, what's Ooh, up? I got to find, find and a big grenade pot, launcher. Mini and a grenade launcher. That's great. Oh, these guys are facing the same resistance levels in Junk Junction. So they're trying to claim this spot. So this is now here's the thing. Roby is on the other end. That's that is who one of the duo that's here. And we've seen Roby is a consistent player. Yep. We know he's an aggressive player and he always tries to take advantage of, you know, situations. You know, you know what my team and I do though? Oh! If we Oh what that a was nice Roby. shot. Oh, he gets boogie, he's gotta back up. Run. Yeah, increase life. that distance. He tries to get the push there. He gets a headshot. He clutches up. Oh, what a shot, dude. Oh, literally crouched, pops him in the forehead, gets a heavy crit, and then body shots him. That was that actually was on crazy. top of being boogie on top of monstered. Being boogie. <laughs> With the disadvantage, that's accuracy. That's what I don't have. I don't have that crazy shot all the time. Man. <laughs> so check this out. This is Zachybus. He's an old Unreal Tournament player. It's really um, And this is <laughs> Lupo last week talked about it, and Zachybus tweeted us. But you see that lamp in the background? Look at it. It's just like a little person holding up a little lamp. Dude, it's, it's holding up his his style because this guy oh, yeah, is swagged out right now. Oh, yeah. Gotta love it. Very dapper young man right here. Appreciate that. Yeah, Zacubus coming in. Was it not like Zacubus was one of the first dudes that did like rocket riding, right? Yeah, one of the first ones. That was great. Ooh, nice the boogie. Steam. Oh, that was a point. Yeah, yeah, sting bomb, sting bomb. I 
Yeah, thought he had a boogie for a second. Yeah. Nice. Look at that headshot. Oh, that that was Yoshi. Down. Yep. So Zacubus so finds wow. a I mean, th that's what I like about the new stink. Uh, really not the new stink bombs, yeah, but I'm the stink bombs in general. Is you just use them and you're flushing people out. You're kind of forcing them to move uncomfortably, right? It looks like these guys might have just disengaged from a battle. You can see his teammate is pretty weak. He's dropping some meds now. Gold double barrel. Uh, double barrel on EU scene is crazy. He's actually holding two, three. <laughs> Hello, three shotguns. Listen, they are they are prepped for close quarter combat. All right, they're ready to go. And is this something they should have expected? Landing near, uh, you know, lonely right here. You know, there's players here. Should have expected it. Oh, look at that knock. Double barrels is so dangerous. Yeah, he wants the point first just in case. Switches to the extra shotgun here. Mm -hmm. Who said holding multiple shotguns is out, huh? This guy knows. See, this is the new. Oh, going right back to that close barrel. Oh. ADS is it for the extra 15% accuracy right there. Done. There you go. And now he picks up Amar, and they have two eliminations and some free loot. That's right. Starly and Alkin here in Pleasant Park. You know, the best feeling, it's not every day you get to actually save your teammate in these battles. So, yeah, that's he's, true. He's feeling good right there. Oh, look at that split oh. flames. SEBM just laser to the forehead. And a gas station. It's a 1v1. He's trying to go, he's trying to go for the elimination. You saw that? He wanted the point. He's like, I'm taking you with me. I mean, and that's the thing, right? Because we talked about it. Every elimination matters, and you only get the point, point if they are actually eliminated. They can go down, but they can get revived, and then your team doesn't get that point. So it's important. Finish off those eliminations. Make Lam go Taga in Lucky uh, Landing. This is where they've been surviving through Lucky Landing, huh? I mean, hey, man. Look at, look at this loot here. He's got extra, extra shield on deck. Oh, my gosh. That's and another double barrel. You, that's, 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 We're seeing a, a trend here. Yeah. We're catching a heavy trend here with these double barrels. They're underrated. Man, this is a... I would... If I left a, a POI like this... Five, okay, more two minis. more minis. Hello. Yeah, yeah. So essentially, they could they could full heal their shield twice. Multiple times. That's right. Two minis, one half shield. Two minis, one half shield. And that's where you want to be. For me, uh, I do prioritize heals in these competitions a lot because you will be in those close quarter combat more often than not. Yeah. Um, and and of course you got to expect to get pinged pretty often, right? Like you're mm -hmm. rotating, you know, you're gonna get hit. So you just want to heal. Now, what's the rotation look like coming here from Lucky Landing? Because they're in the zone, because you can't see the circle and there's no they line. Stay. They stay and they farm. They okay. farm so hard. Yep. Because when you get the zone. In, in like a competitive yeah, setting, you're happy. You're actually, you don't have to rotate too hard, right? You don't have to uh, risk exposing yourself to travel very far. You can kind of play your zone and get heavy, heavy materials and then take advantage of that later. See, this guy, he's even breaking trees, right? He's full breaking them for a second there. Oh, he spotted a player off in the distance. And you know, it's funny because when rotations or when the zone is like this, players change. It's not every day you see players on the coast like this, right? Oh, no, see, these guys are staying to farm, where typically people wouldn't be down here. And that's a headshot. Oh, my God. Wow, 140 meters. Respect the shot on Mikkel out here. That was actually insane. Yeah, they're going to push it before he gets the heal up. Yep, now Mikkel. I would have I would have dived to the right to the right. Honestly, it would be a, a faster push. But looks like he's just going to take the natural ground here and stay super you know, low-key for a little bit. Hey, look, his teammate is flanking all the way from the right across bridge, Monster. I was gonna see it. Let's see if he even built. Oh, he didn't. leaves it open. Oh no, 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 my no, no, no. gosh, that was a headshot. Wow. wow. <laughs> Mikolau. <laughs> Mikolau in top form here, guys, no, to no, no, be no, respected. No, no, no. And look at that, a teammate. Looks like Otaga wrapped that up right from yep. behind. Unbelievable. Mikolau on point right now. I'll say it for Mikolau. Clip it. <laughs> <laughs> Sky by himself in Pleasant Park. He's a minimum fighting another player. This is why I like being in the caster seat. Look at all this pressure this guy has. He's got to make the plays. He's by himself. Now is this a solo? How quick he takes the high ground. Ramp, ramp floor, ramp floor, ramp floor. This guy can't even react here. And this is how hard it is to take high ground from a great player. He'll he'll keep elevating himself over you. And you kind of have to hit a point eventually, right, where you go, you look. realize it's too hard. Yeah, and yeah, you just need to disengage. He did that. Look exactly at that. what he did. And the zone's coming. It, 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 HP, everything matters here. He can make this trade. He's got to hit the shot. It's so close, monster. There you go. He finds the elimination. That was uh, a pretty good find there. And now the thing is, though, he's got to kind of keep up with the storm. He's got to say, you've seen uh, it only took like a shot. So you know yeah. Week. Mm hmm. Look at this. Aim back over to Ames and uh, Amar. So now, 
So what, squads all around. around let me let me pick your your uh, high level player brain. I got. What this. do you see? Right. What what is this map telling you? Exactly what I thought it would. Right. Everyone that had zone in the bottom areas. Look at how there's no one really hugging on top of each other. Right. Mm -hmm. They're staying where they landed and they're farming. What's happening on the northern half of the map? It's oh. like everyone's in, in battles. That's mm -hmm. because they didn't have zone. Rotations from far coming in. Yeah. Not having zone really matters early on because it changes the dynamic of where you are and how long your engagement lasts. Like, look at this right here. That's a, that's a crucial shot right there. That's a full bolt action. And look at the push here. They completely disregard the guy that was on the low ground, taking the player in the backside. They know they have this guy on the ropes, especially with the storm ticking this player down. He's got to be so low. One more shot. And look at that right there. That was the two. Loses his teammate. Is he going to dive down? Oh, the player goes for the thirst. That's a seven. He's got to get a better shot than that. Yeah, that's a one shot. Here it is. C4s. That's a double. Exposed him. Slides down. Natural grounds. Easy. Well, there you go. Oh, but he loses his teammate. Yep. Rody goes down. Now he's kind of, kind of, he's close to Storm. So he's going to be okay. You know what it is? He overcommitted on losing. He had the high ground. He just yep. kind of overcommitted, you know? That was pretty unfortunate. Yeah, you can see his face. He's like, all right, all right, I got, I got a little something. He, he nodded his head. He was like, you know what? It's not, it could have been worse, right? He's alive. He's happy about that. Beehive and blood. They've got a little ways to go. It's not too, too far away. Oh, the RPG on these guys. We oh just my gosh. keep seeing that What's RPG. That? I wonder if they, I, I believe they're probably hitting, uh, it seems like vending machine. Just bring out Ah. It's not every day. You, 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 these guys keep getting RPGs. I think they're right. making vending machine rotations. And that's smart, right? Because uh, vending machines recently were updated where now oh, yeah. the stuff inside costs that less. Nice little buff. Yep. Most of the times you'll see teams that consistently get explodes is because they, they prioritize purchasing. Yeah. Look at this. So they drop both the, the, the duo here in front of them. And now they're going to be in a build battle. He goes into turtle. He's going to make a quick push soon. Watch this. Bam. Oh, I like the two. Turn the two around. wide. One, two. His high ground now. That's one shot. Oh, SMG nice, melt. Nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Melt it. Later. Man. Okay, so now they, they find another duo here. So another two points on the board. You know what's the best part about that? He didn't, that? he didn't waste one explode. Every rocket matters for endgame. And he finds three more. So now he's got five. Fatal. All right, these guys now at Fatal at the edge here. Gotaga's gonna be coming from uh, down from from where they spawn at the at the edge of the map here. Right from Lucky Land, because that's literally Lucky a POI. Yeah, it's, it's right there, directly below it. This, this is the only place for them to kind of go uh, is this way, right? But now the question is, did they go straight up? Did they make their way over into like the, if, the sand area? If I'm Peekaboo, I move deeper into the zone for sure. Because it looks like these guys have had a lot of time to farm. They have 700 uh, wood here, f about 400 stone. So they hit the stone query, right? They've got a rift to go. Oh, he does. RPG on these guys as well. Man, okay, okay. So we've got 46 players left. The storm is starting to come in now. Oh, there it is. They see some shots. These guys are going to try and come over and get some cheeky side shots going. He's got his RPG ready. That's a point blank RPG. It was Mikel oh, I told you. Mikel and Gotaga right here. They, this is the lucky landing team. So they had already rotated up. They're not in a good position at all right now. Look, he's going to sneak right underneath him. But Gotaga's trying to... The pressure, the pressure, the pressure. Quick edit there. Oh, oh wow. He should tried. dominate, finds, and I mean, you talked about it, right? I the mean, mats. nine, nine, no, nine, everything. <laughs> because they had so much time to farm, they just had like, all that time to farm. Yep, loot delivery. Hello, hello, <laughs> Aragonist and Senpai here in retail row. There's another duo, and there's actually a third player. So, wow, there's, there's a battle going on in Black Tops here, and yeah. you have this other team just kind of chilling, Senpai looking out. Actually, I think they probably heard some shots, they hear it, they're going for a wide rotation right here. But it, it looks like they don't exactly know where the, the like where they action exactly is. So, okay, so now we see so Walls being built here. He's got the information. He's got a C4 out. He knows the player's in there. One, two, three. Hello. That's another one. <laughs> that was all three? <laughs> That's all right there. I think the player was not, so he didn't get, uh, unfortunately, he didn't get the, the point for that. Right. He was trying to go for the rev there. Hey, but the material payout was great. Oh, yeah. 955. Right, no. They've got extra ammo, extra. I, I would take the ACOG here. Yeah, he knows he has to. Okay. It's a great weapon for, you know, just getting oh harassment shots in from a distance. Yeah. 
I mean, we see T people like Tifu, right? Like, they pick up a, a scope they are, and then they just sit out range, and they start... Let me, let me tell you why it's unfair on Tifu's hand. His shot is way too good. All right? Like, that has un, like, unnatural accuracy right there. It's great. Unnatural <laughs> accuracy. Yeah, yeah, so you see you see the him hold the weapon, and then you're like, oh, let me, I can try that. No, you miss, like, every shot, right? <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's hard to do. You got to respect the, the shot on that Tifu accuracy. Advice and paradox. So they saw that they now like they've got that eagle eye over in retail, right? So we know that there was a, a duo there that just eliminated three players. And I mean, you know, they have high ground and they have zone over these guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, they still have to rotate, but they see the battle going on. They're looking for an opportunity to kind of stab in there. I wonder if they rift to go straight in, try and pick themselves up four on the, on a weak team. That actually, I mean, we talked about it. Every single point four. matters. And I mean, they they're also carrying loot, right? They just this guy is building team. so high off to the left. Advice sees it too. They haven't even. Yeah, there it is. He's re, he's he's now rotating his his staircase around. They want a piece of this now. They're trying to get line up the first shot accuracy here. I think they're being a little too hesitant here. I think so. Yeah, because like they. All right, the storm is gonna come any second now, right? If they're not taking advantage of this guy way up in the air right there, I I, I don't know what they're doing. Like right there, they could be just breaking the ramp down. And I think that's a really good point because. You know, what, oh, he, look at that! He gets oh, the knock right there. Wow, that was that was a perfect shot. It, it, the dude must have taken a shotgun blast because it was 24. Put him down. Yep. And that's the thing, right? That's now his elimination. So if the enemy team finds him, oh, and he that. catches the second one from a distance. Wow, that was a that's a full team. 150 meters, man. But that was you know what? Now they don't get the loot. So are they going to commit with a rift to go pick up the loot? Because you know the other team's weak as well. I guess they're just going to count as a small win. Nice, nice hit right there. Jabez finds like and do. That was actually three consecutive shots back to back, by the way. Oh, wow. Kainsar has a minigun? Okay. Oh, this this weapon right here is so good for applying pressure while your teammate goes with the build. Yeah, look, notice he keeps just re cooking it back up so the player doesn't go for the revive too comfortably, right? And his squad mate's trying to push up now. But he has to be careful on how much distance they put here. You don't want it to be a 1v1, you want to work together. Yep, they noticed that. I think he's pinpointed where the enemy is. It's got to be somewhere down here. <laughs> and I mean, with a minigun, you it's can hard say, to tell though. Hey, Look at, up? see this this hesitation or slowing down. This is not what you want to do. Yeah, they're just giving this player now time to just, breathe. They, they lost him. And that's why his his teammate should have kept cooking a minigun while the other player got the high ground, so you can see where the bills were going. So they're now, probably start. just playing the sound game here. Yeah, they're trying to. I mean, you've got to assume he's in a box somewhere, right? Over to Skype. 31 players left, Monster. This is a ton of players uh, left here. Right, and for, for you guys tuning in, guys, we're on game three here. So it's it's been cooking every single round so far. Players are definitely fired up. They know what they're doing. Skite has four eliminations, Monster. And look at this. He's going to try and vulture some. Oh, Finds nice a job. down. Okay, another elimination hit, heading his way. He knows there's two more players out there. This guy's got to be weak. And Push up, dude. Storm? Come Push on. up. Don't let him heal. This is this is your point here. If we see it in the storm, I'm 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 watching a kill feed here. See, he's, he's so he's he's kind of nervous. See, he's blocking his sides here. He doesn't really know if he wants to full send in. Right. If I him, I go a layer higher to see up and over. Did you see? He's kind of playing that coastline right there. Like you can lose line of sight of this player pretty quickly. But he's by himself, so you know I kind of don't blame him either. Oh, man, I feel like uh, he should have just... He gives up his positioning there. Yeah. Well, the thing is, too, is you can place uh, a, a campfire below you and then it, just I mean, place a ramp. He's got five kills. He's, he's five eliminations in. Oh, I there think it is. Got, he must have got his AD. He's dancing. What do you think? <laughs> Not at all. Maybe so he's got the eight eliminations. All right, so Loya. You just hear gunfire everywhere. Keep calm and build, all right? You got it, Loya. Keep calm, build on. That's all it is. Build on. Those quick edits, all right? The thing is, she kind of has to go far, and she's kind of yeah, against the storm. I'm not in a good position here. Yeah, she just says she's not yeah. in a good position. She kind of realizes. I think there's a squad above her, and that's why she's kind of chilling right now. Buy herself some time. What, what she needs to do is wait until uh, the squad is, like, super distracted. I'm going to end up like, being dip. someone that is not See, mine. now they're focusing on her. Oh, one dude lost the high ground. I mean, there's two places you can make here. You can dive on this guy. It's a 1v1. All you got to just, like, swarm him right there. See, the other player's behind her. This is where you move. Yeah, make your move. There it is. Knows. She realized this guy is weak right here, position-wise. Almost turns the entire battle around. Get the high ground. You just got to chill. Oh, she's got no heals. C4, use it all. That's right. You don't, don't want to go down with it. Just use it. In. I am 
I'm 13 HP. Throw it, throw it, throw it. You got the blow right there. Oh, just barely misses. She can't take fall damage here. She can't take a shot either. Look at her pace. Oh my, every, every point matters here. That, that's all you. This guy's so weak. If there's one player. He's weak. Oh, oh no. no. I knocked one guy. I'm bad. That's still hey, a that, point That though. one knock right there is a, like literally a crucial point. Yeah, and this that is was a replay played. coming in from Peekaboo here. Oh, oh. <laughs> on Fnatic Journal. Oh. Wow. What a snipe. So this is, uh, I swear move? EU hits some crazy shots all they the time. They do, man. We see it week after week. It's a reflection in Batboo here. I'll give it, I'll give it to these, uh, to the European team. They really set the bar pretty high sometimes. It's, yeah. it's so crazy. So Batu reflection. So I mean, what kind of like? So Batu doesn't have any eliminations. I'm assuming reflection okay. maybe has one or two. I would think so. He's zero RPG, uh, <laughs> zero uh, rockets for the RPG. So he's probably he probably has some elimination. I think it's you know, safe to assume so. They're trying to figure out their rotation here. They're going nice and early. See, this is what I told you about high level teams. They know when they need to build and when they don't. Look at how much materials they're saving just by, you know, cruising across the side here. Yeah. He's just bullying his way through. He gets inside. Oh, oh catches Peekaboo off guard here. And that was Peekaboo. We just saw the replay. He yeah, sniped he, someone. He kind of got nervous. Oh, the player came out the bush? What? 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 <laughs> what? He's right there. Oh, my gosh. But it's okay. They secure the eliminations. There's a gets slurp it. there. Oh, man. Look at this. That's going to put it back to max us. HP, too. They are still alive, and they're just outside the zone, monster. Svenos again, and Mitra. These see, and this is what I talk about game sense. Like Sven is a like literally a winner. He knows how to win games. He's he's always got good positioning. If he gets a little, you know, he wins a couple of his battles, he's gonna make it very far. It looks like there's two separate teams fighting here. He's just trying to like join oh, in a little bit. Look at the amount of players hugging on each other right here. This is actually crazy. So look, so I believe it's Svenos is fighting Archangel right now. But Mitro goes down. He's going to... Okay. Svenos is here, though. It's okay. He's going to go with the save. But you know what? They were just in a battle, and they, he won the battle here. And that's what you got to appreciate about the duos, man. Like, is it, they were so close that even though he went down, Svenos was right there. He can say, look, it's fine. I eliminated the guy. Now I'm going to get you up. So, look, Reflection has one elimination. It's going to be a hard rotation, though, for those guys, for sure. They kind of have natural low ground. They have to work their way up. And with the amount of teams kind of, like, turtled here, it's going to be pretty tough for them. Top 20 monster. From what I noticed, uh, there's another solo behind these dudes. Yeah, you see, you see how they have the extra threat, not just the players above them. Someone just got I'm just, I was saying, I was just here, the shield's popping off here. It's not his teammate, though. His teammate still has max oh, HP. Kind of hear grenades bouncing everywhere. They're trying to just keep it safe here. So the thing is, Monster, you can hear a lot going on. There's shields dropping left and right, but you can't see it. They're inching their way to the top, though. They want a piece of this action, but they're taking their time. Yep, you see, he said medkit, he found some loot here. Just replacing every wall, slowly getting higher and higher. So only one player has gone down in all this time. <laughs> Sensitivity, jeez, <laughs> so high. These players must be like literally on the other side of one of these oh, wall summer monsters. I mean, the shotgun sounds, they finally made it all the way up. He's just doing his one by ones. He even had time to drop mats for his teammate. <laughs> they went from the all the way from the bottom to the high ground. See now you can see everything. I was gonna try oh, third party. Doesn't get a shot. Oh, he gets the nut. That's crucial. They should they should dive to the left. I think they gotta make this time to move up because that was a team that was at the all the way at the top. Wait, is there? Okay, I thought that might have been a, a player there, but now they're gonna try and chase down and secure this elimination. No, no, they actually went to the opposite side here. Oh, he catches him reviving. Oh, oh he got, oh, got the rev off though. Hey, that's good for him. He got just two right there confirmed. And so now he tries to leave, but the storm definitely takes a bite out of him. He's trying his best to get to the high ground here. He's kind of choking up on his own builds. There's so much going on. His teammate throwing down. walls everywhere. Lost the squad mate. Maybe it's time to just stay down. Oh, he's in the storm. He's going. Oh. No, he's, he's made it. He's made it to the next zone. His Barely, but he's made it. Oh, man, but two goes down. He's got enough shields, so he'll be at 100. Skite here has seven eliminations. He's, oh, he's that's one another one. He finds Zacubus. Now he, he has the eight he's eliminations. He's got another one. That's nine. Skite is by himself running amok in this oh lobby. Nine gosh. eliminations? 
He has 14 nine points for on the board right monster. That is crazy. Skite is on fire. He's got the mats. He's got the ammo count. He's got a little bit of heals. He's got shields. But like this, if he wasn't on the board, he's on the board now, right? That's right. Sven also down low has been on gone down. Oh, but he made my so top. split. He must have fell off. Oh my gosh. That was Fenos. Fenos there is eliminated now. Now Sky Look trying to make a beast. move. He is diving for it. He's in top form right here. You can tell the confidence levels are super high. He's getting to this before the other squad does. You see that? It was like a race for the uh, the old shell of the base here. Oh, he catches him. Falls on him. Doesn't get the... Uh, That's not his elim. That was not his elimination. But he's got the lead on the storm here. It's a 1v1. It's v1. a 1v1 monster. Bring him down. Bring him down. Don't let that metal, uh, you know, full heal here. Oh, he's just going to go. He's got the mats. This is it. The edit. Jeez, he's got the high ground. He's taking that back. High ground? Oh, my. We might see our first big bonus here. It's no, it's no, no, way. No, oh, no, 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 The antenna elimination. What? What? Skite just dominated oh. an entire lobby by himself. Drops a 10 bomb. Okay. Really quick, in case you're joining, okay, <laughs> the point, it's one point per elimination. He's got 10 points. Break it down. Victory else worth five points. He's got 15. If your duo finds an eight elim game, they get another five points. Sky by himself just dropped 20 points in a single And, and we don't, we don't know what, I mean, we, you don't even know what his squad had, his, his teammate. That team <sighs> played phenomenally. What a game. That was just game three. Okay, listen, guys. You guys need to calm down. I might, I might need okay. a breather after this one. Oh, my gosh. Let's check out the <laughs> final moments coming in from that last game. How Skite finds this. I, I just oh, look and We get to see it from the other perspective here. Check it. You see this guy building like crazy at you. What do you do? Look how quick he lost the high ground from apply pressure. Oh, dude. That's the chunkiest shot ever. The dude had a lot of HP and armor. Skite said, I'm Skite, though. You know what's really interesting? is Skite not only dominated a lobby, he was by himself most of that game because his teammate unfortunately got picked off early and from low ground finds high ground over someone like Jay Bizd. You call that pressure. How? I mean, can you just t talk to me a little bit about that? Like, what, what did you see? What was going through your mind there? So, like, for me, I'm thinking take him down before the metal fully heals, right? Mm -hmm. He's thinking, nah, I got materials. Mm -hmm. And if the player above me is rocking metal right now, I mean, he probably is running low on other stuff too, right? He's got to be low on metal. Not that many people are going to have that much metal uh, end game. He decides to just full send up. Mm -hmm. uh, he must He must have saw something we didn't, right? Maybe some storm damage. The player came out the storm a little late. I think these yeah. are all things he took into consideration. He said, I'm not going to give this uh, player an, uh, an opportunity to bounce back before he can heal. And he yeah. really didn't. Man. Let's take a look at the highlights coming in from match number three. What a game. Sky dropping a massive 20 bomb. 20 points on the board. I mean, Monster. We still have two games, dude. I just <laughs> like, oh my gosh. This, when uh, Roby was trying to like peek over. Tries oh, to yeah, this shot right here is actually crazy. And then that was the headshot. Body, oh body. My. Just on, and you get the, the little nose swipe, like, yeah, what's up? How's it going? Made that. That was me. <laughs> no way! Through the, through the crack, yep. Zacubus, let's go! Nice shot from Nikolai right here, and later. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. And then there you go. This was the follow up there. They pushed the player. This is good teamwork here, by the way. <gasps> Out, outside of the like, nasty headshot. Yeah. Skewer and Teeksy in tilted towers. Oof, trap right there. Look at that. They oh, these guys have been landing tilted every single time mm -hmm. and consistently getting a couple points, so they got to be doing good. Look at this. The team fire there. You got to love when someone's just, like, jumping in circles, like, don't know where to defend from. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, just coveted. Advice and paradox here. Uh, Oof. Nice flick. Yeah, okay, here comes the snipe. Oh, dude. <gasps> Bopped him, dude. Dude, and on Yarl. It's got to feel good. That's a highlight. Look at this. Oh, the, oh my gosh. Catching them while they're all distracted. Man, Sky, and this is the Here's final the final moments. push. Let's see how much he hits him for. Ooh, I couldn't even see. Honestly, it happened oh, so fast. But Sky, man, showing up in game number three. 
if you guys are just tuning in, Sky just put 20 points on the board, single-handedly drops 10 eliminations, 5 points for Victory Al, and then 5 points because he hit I think, 8 I think or more of eliminations. all the weeks, that was probably like the most savage. Because remember, we, we actually gave so much props to Reverse 2K for dropping 9. Mm -hmm. That was 10 on one person. On one person. In a duo setting. <sighs> this is some impressive, uh, very impressive numbers here with the victory. Absolutely. We've also got match standings from uh, game number 2. So let's go ahead and take a look at that and see where players placed after game 2. So at the top there, Kingwin and Topski with 10 points. Gotag and Mikolau, uh with 6. And right behind them, Archangel and Jam side. So yeah, that's and just uh, for clarity, this is strictly the match two standing. Right. So this this is how they perform in that heat. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we'll also have uh, an updated settings for uh, match number three. Right, which what you just saw, which was actually insane. Yeah. And so keep in mind, these games are basically fresh games, and then players are working toward a cumulative bonus kind of at the end of the five matches, but. Dude, three games. Oh my gosh. A 20 point dub. That's that's dude. Amazing. Everyone at home, like, what how dope was that game right there? Skype okay. drops a massive 20 bomb to hit the board for All match right, number back, three. Back time. <laughs> <laughs> you guys at home, hit us with the hashtag summer skirmish. What do you think? Are you enjoying this new format? What do you wish was different? What do you what do you think, right? Let's have a conversation. Talk about this guy, how he's breaking down these things for us. Man, oh man, send us, uh, please, don't forget to send us Switch clips. We're going to watch those together. What an awesome three games. I can't I stop smiling. That was like, I, I, I just, know! That's like a, a, such a memorable moment of all the weeks I've seen. Like, so I've, I've gotten to see games, you know, play games. I, oh, that was great. That was great. So, good. guys, don't go anywhere. We're going to take a short break, okay? Get up, stretch, find something to snack on. We'll be back in five minutes. We'll see you soon.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are back after that short break. I'm Zeke. This is Monster. Man, oh man, we've seen some games. Whew. That that was like the fastest five minute break, by the way. My adrenaline was I know. so kicked. I feel like it I, just like closed it. Check Twitter. Bam, bam. We are <laughs> back. <laughs> Uh, you know what's fun? We actually have the standings coming in from that last game, so let's very quickly look at that, see where players placed right there, all oh the way at the my top. Gosh. Boy, oh boy, Sky dropping a massive wow. 20 points to, I mean, you know, I don't even know what to say. If you didn't see that, you gotta you go go back and look at it. I mean, Sky was the man coming through. Gamru Jetpacks right behind them in second, Kinstar and Jay Biz in third. Man, that was just probably one of the most unbelievable endings I think I've seen to date. And and every every performance, every point counts to the overall performance. So that round was so massive mm -hmm. for like the total yeah. of what just happened towards the end game. So for sure. And if you guys are just joining us and you're curious about the the current format with this week, we are going with big bonus. So players are trying to accumulate as many points as possible. We're only playing five matches and every Elam is worth a point. If your team can find a victory out, you'll get five additional points. And if your duo can find eight or more eliminations, you automatically get an additional five points. So we saw that last game. Skype dropped 10 bomb, five points for Victory Out, and then five points for reaching that eight threshold. Make, making history so far in the heats. Oh the my first, gosh. First individual, uh, first squad, really, that we've seen the first duo yeah. to, to break the eight kill, uh, eight elimination threshold. So. Man, I mean. Dude, how are you? How are you feel? I'm ready. I feel good. My heart's I think, racing. Uh, I think I had like I got to watch the clip enough times. It was it was it was that fire, and I'm looking forward to uh, game four and five. Oh my gosh, dude! We still have two more games, guys. We have two more games to watch. We're in a final stretch here. Oh my gosh, let's go into game number four. Now, monster. <laughs> After that game, I mean, they just hit the bar. So what I, I was gonna say, see? how do you live up to that? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you just say, let's just watch Sky all the time. Right. And just, just never leave his side because he's amazing. I mean, what are you, what are you excited to see? What are you hoping to see? I think my expectations have been met. Uh, Sky really <laughs> came, with, came with something that. I couldn't even, you know, come up with. I, right. I told you, I, I would be really surprised if a squad, more than one squad, could, you know, thrash eight. Your man, from what we've seen individually, had 10. He had all 10 because he, he scored the full 20, so his squad mate didn't have eliminations up until that point. Right. So, yeah, he, he went above and beyond right there. So look at this. We saw this landing before. Jetpacks and Gamru, they land by the treasure chest. And then they that, look. That is the spot if you touch down first. Look at that. A little easy, quick high ground. He couldn't even farm the metal fast enough. So that means that this is, uh, I believe this is Loya. Oh, Loya? No, it's for the sandwich right there. Yeah, that was Loya. Loya goes That's down. huge. Loya was doing so good, too. You know, she made it to uh, end game several yeah. times. So that's a big elimination. That's going to shake how, really shake up the way things are going to work out later. You see these players going into Paradise Palms. Holding Paradise Palms, just you know, underrated. I mean, you know, you just go to Paradise Palms. You you, you stay at the hotel. You go visit Station 99. For me, so this is one of my landing spots. I never go big big tower. Really? You got Yeah, like because look at where he is. Like, yeah, it's great to have this elevation, but it's so risky. You can't really build off this. See how like he can't really descend. He has to go through the building or something like that. Yeah, it worked out that time though. The finding duelies up top is is massive. And now he needs to make it. I think for me, I, I like the hotel, but it's scary going down because you never know who's in the building and kind of which floor they're on. I, I prefer to go to the residential area, kind of be like comfortable in my own zone and really then make the decision if I have to push or not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but some people are like just like crazy confident. These guys just want Oh, yeah. Look at the bully push. Doesn't even slow down. Doesn't wait for the peak. No, he pushes right through. It's confidence. Like he did a little huh? tiger, little tiger crowd right yeah, there. Feisty, <laughs> 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 feel feisty. All right, this guy is feisty. And now look, they have Paradise Palms to themselves. Yeah, now yeah, that's assuming there's no other duo here. No, these guys got it. I, I mean, yeah, I mean, at this point, when you're fighting inside hotel, you're just like, hey, we're gonna now also pick this fight from outside. Good luck. Oh, we've seen an incredible orb and in his teammate a lot today, but on the other side, right? So we're now we get to watch him clutch up here. He yeah, makes both baby. shots. Well played. And Army. look at that. They find reflection taking him out. Oh Titan. my. You know, uh, I didn't even move. think about that. Reflection is big. That's yep. a big kill. Baneless and Lycan do. They're near Shifty. He oh, finds man. one player. Look at that. Nice. So Rody goes up. down. It is popping off all over the map here. Just action left and right. Everyone's trying to meet that threshold. They know they've seen Skype put that 20 points on the board. And they say, look, you know what? It's, it's game time. 
Okay, so I, I also, another strategy of mine, okay. love going center. You have, you know, obviously extremely high odds yeah, at damn. having zone here. It's, it's a great spot to be Salty Springs. Yeah, in the sure, NA yeah. scene, interesting enough, wow, there's a couple of teams, you know, yeah, kind of talk about, like, claiming locations. Salty is a yeah, claim so location. Oh, it looks like the EU scene here, too, as well. You have a high population in the center of the map right there. There's three teams just outside of one another. And, yup, there it is. He just spots and pops him with his eagle. Oh my gosh, the heavy cannon right there. That was a great shot. Popping in the, uh, the what's that, the clingers there? Yeah. Oh, well played. Dela goes down. He's doing his by himself here. His teammate hasn't rolled up yet. Oh, there it is. Squad mate comes from behind. The pressure, the distraction. Oh, Ooh. yes. Well there you go. So I'd say Warchi and Dela have been eliminated. And cannon. Is that, a, uh, is that a burst right there? Nice. Picks up the bolt team. I mean, you saw, man. That, that hand cannon close range, like. Suddenly, you just take a ton of damage. You're just it, like it, it's literally a body rattled. To the, you know, 75 to the body. You know, I, honestly, uh, for me, I feel like with the hand cannon, I would, I would really prefer if it was, um, you know, 100% accurate at all times, right? Mm. And then uh, more fall off damage on it. Ah. You know what I mean, because because like sometimes it's it's just like the thing is hard to control. Mm -hmm. But when you hit those shots, man, it's so rewarding, especially that close range right there. Yeah, absolutely. Look at this. Six clingers on Mitro here. Massive. I would, I would still personally, I would oh, trade out so clingers for C4 though. Really? I really would. How come? The, the changes, the balance. Um, and, and don't get me wrong, it's like clingers are a, a upgraded grenade, but right. like C4 is where it's at. And here it is. We have a nice little engagement here. So we know exactly what team. This is the Junk Junction team. They, these guys are probably battling all day today. Yeah, there was another duo here. We saw them on the mini map. That's right. Oh, look at that quick high ground to <laughs> slow down, Mitro. And there you gotta, is. you gotta think they probably don't even know this is Mitro and Svenos. They just no, know they have no idea. It's just yep, yep, just popping off here. Look at that, just changing elevation at will. And, and now we have another factor, storm, right? Ooh, yep. Storm just started cooking, so here it is. Now they're fighting. They're actually racing against the clock here. You have to wrap this battle up. Okay. There it is. He gets a knock. These they have to. They literally have to descend here. You know, typically you want to keep a textbook, but when you have these extra factors, there's no time to, uh, to you know, give your opponent the chance to breathe. He's got to go all the way in here. It's interesting. He only threw one clinger. I want to know where Sven. Sven's playing a long distance here. Yep. And there it is. Ooh, oh, that was a heavy shot. Too. Oh man. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Vic, Skyar. Oh man, his teammate can't even take fall damage. Oh, look at the mad. So limited. That's how much of a build battle's been going on here. Oh, lucky for him. He doesn't have to build too high here. He's just got to bully his way through. He's using, the, using a rifle here, and look at that shot. Nice, nicely done. Try to go for the quick uh, quick elimination there. He's getting back down now. You see, he's got a spike trap ready. He's ready for this player to kind of fall in here. Oh, he should have just made the edit. He could have edited the player through the roof with the spike trap. Oh, man. That would have been crazy. That's, that's one of those things that's like hard to do, but if you can do it, oh, man. You just got to think of the play, you know? Yeah. And you can see uh, the Vic's health there is ticking up, so I believe he might have taken a slurp juice. Oh, man. And there you go. They yeah, find no, the elimination. There you go. So now, metal? and you know what's not bad is the store, uh, the circle's right here. So they don't really have to go too far. Uh, oh, no. no. Gotaga coming in oh, hot no. with Look, here. Gotaga's already touched down. What, I, what I told you, RPG. Look at that loadout. That, that is a le literally legendary loadout. This is kind of crazy. So now, because Mikalau can take shots as he pleases, Gotaga's putting down pressure. Gotaga's just keeping him distracted while Mikalau's working this rotation here. There you go. Skyark goes down. Gotaga is pushing in, and now they're gonna they're gonna line the, uh, the little pinch right here. Man, just look how how look at how they're approaching this team. Look at that. They literally split the attention of their enemies. And you know when when you're like when you're in the player seat there, it's frustrating when you have a squad like splitting like that, and there's like kind of nothing you can do because they're landing shots. It's so frustrating. Mm. And man, now they've got a bunch of extra mats, ammo, upgrades. Yeah, they, they needed these materials, too. It's lucky for them. They didn't have to build off. But, I mean, the, the squad they kind of wrapped up, too, didn't have that much. Right. right? So it's, it's you know, a small little icing on the cake. Lucky for them they didn't have to build or expend too much. So it's definitely a win, though. You can tell, oh, man, it's it's also very interesting when you catch a squad with, like, materials like that, right? Like ammunition. Yeah, match rockets. Yeah. <laughs> Hopping over now. Most of the time, you like get in these squads, and they're you know their ammo, the mediums are so limited. Oh no, hold on, monster! Right here in front of them, this is where they're coming up. Mikalau and Gotaga are literally coming over this hill right now. This squad, this squad kind of knows there's someone back here. Right? Look, look there they are. They're that's looking. them. 
He said, should we fight? Yeah, they're asking the question, should we fight? Try to make the decision. So they've been spotted out. You can tell the way the uh, the builds are kind of going here. Okay, so now he's going to try. Ooh. That would have been a huge pick there. That would have been a game changer. See, the, like, you see how he stopped peeking, right? It's like, oh, you got to respect like, it now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Time hey, peaky, peaky, peaky no piece. more. The question is now, how do Gotaga and Mikhailov engage in this fight? So, so he has 12 rockets. If this team pushes, they're going to get punished for it. And we're going to see it happen right here, because one RPG is going to reset this. The oh, bouncer? the bouncer? Oh, he is he's showing no respect to the push here. With a full bouncer play, that is risky. I wouldn't do but that like against a fully that. armored team. And this is <laughs> the fully shielded team you see why right here. He's got the high ground though. 15 HP, look at that, look and he goes push, down, push, 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 okay. Push. Before you make a bounce play like that, you really want to soften up your, your opponents, you know? Man, Gotaga without skipping right. a beat. Oh, but now Gotaga's yep. down. Oh, and he didn't he get thirsted. thirsted, it's still, oh, yeah. He just got thirsted, yep. Ouch. So it's a it's kind of like a one for one here, right? We saw one player get, get kind of got, and now Gotaga got traded out as well, so it's a 1v1 now, I'm pretty sure. Man, and you know, you, you saw them play super close to each other, and Gotaga just for one second got far away enough, and... You can you can tell Mikalao is comfortable with PvP here. Uh, if you notice what happened there, he preemptively aimed through the, uh, the the box that was going to get edited. So many players edit the same exact box, it's almost like you can, uh, you, you just read them so well. And he just waited. ADS with the shotgun. Took all this guy's shield off. Oh, like Pressure's on him. Sitting on top Pressure's of this. just on him. He's like, hey, go ahead and edit this. You're done, come in there. And he's trying to make the uh, the edit play there. That's his. So clean. Like, literally so clean. Man. Mick allow. And that gets him two. See, so one player was down there. Now he has four eliminations. Oh, Not bad. But they have even more points. than that, right? Because they wrapped up the Paradise Palms team. Yep, exactly. We might see another, uh, yeah, at least, uh, eight elimination bonus. Yeah. And now, oh, look at this. So Svenos is down. Mitro is by himself. The storm is coming in. Mitro knows what he's doing. That's good pressure, keeping the storm on him. He's got bandages, so he's, you know, he's got a little bit of breather room here. He's just waiting him out. He's like, come on, let's play. Right, if this guy doesn't have, like, you know, heals, he's on a ticking time uh, clock here, too. I think he actually saw him trying to heal there. This guy might have a med kit. Yeah, you just keep the pressure on him long enough. All you gotta do is pop him once now. Eventually, you hit the point. Yep, oh, there it is. Oh, man. Med kit right there. It was a med kit. When you see someone with a med kit, it's like... You know for a fact, you have bandages. You can pop a heal really quickly and then apply pressure. Yeah, exactly. So you, 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 he won already right there. <laughs> like, he, yeah. he had the win. And those are those micro advantages we talked about, right? Loadouts. Just, just little, little things you do that give you an edge. See, and these players know how to read other players so well. Mm -hmm. So, I love Lothar, okay? For anyone, and, and he might have it on, but Lothar, one, is a, an, an amazing player. Two, he has eye tracking enabled. Do you know what that is? I have an interesting story about eye tracking. Really? Okay, yep. let me hear it. Uh, so in the past, um, there's some some games actually integrate eye tracking in. So when you look around, your character moves too. Oh, it's kind of it's kind of sick, dude. And if you ever use it, you can get dizzy off it. But uh, I, I actually have an eye tracker. Really? Yep. Dude, so that's what one thing Lothar yeah, I mean, does. Yeah, and sometimes it's he's cool. got it's it enabled. Cool. Yeah, it's like occasionally you'll see like this little... Uh, it's, it's, it's like a bubble. Yeah, it's like a <laughs> bubble, basically. And it just <laughs> tracks yep. around the screen. And like it's, it doesn't look like it's on right now. But if you just watch Lothar's eyes, like he's constantly tracking like 18... Scanning. Yeah, scanning. literally like scanning every single thing. Like he looks at a thing and then looks away and then looks back at that thing to ensure like his information is correct. Like... Oh, I love watching the play. Looks like they found a team just kind of posted up, and they're making the push. Going that was, to Dusty. Yeah, it's pretty pretty aggressive, I think. Yeah, noticing that they're like kind of turtled up here. Oh, they must have heard shots, yeah. They're coming down to try and get a little piece of this fight here. Oh, that's a big ramp break right there. It was Lay. He finds and eliminates Lay, just breaking down the simple structure there. All damage. You got to think as Lay, you're like... Oh. Yeah, yeah, you know, it kind of came out of nowhere using it. Yep. You couldn't even see him through the trees, right? The brush kind of there. Crowley. We're just jumping in battle to battle here. Players are getting eliminated left and right. I mean, there's still 43 players, Monster. There's so many people left in this lobby right now. This is just pressure, keeping it up. Trying to find these players here. I think they, yeah, they just went out the back there on the left. <laughs> There's so many things happening. I, I love seeing duos like this. You can tell the communications on point. You made a call out, and they're pushing together. And you can just tell, like they're just sitting on these players right here, keeping that pressure on them. Mm -hmm. 
Почти убьет одного. He finds one. Yeah, they're just staying right above him, not giving him opportunity. And look at look at how they pinched him, right? So one player kind of like hit the other side, and the other and his teammates on the opposite side. And this guy knows now he was in the middle. He just relocated right away. You don't want to be in the middle. I know what's really good about this too is they're really before this they're not expending resources, right? All they're doing is expending bullets while this other player is literally panicking. Trying to build a way, I mean, building floors, got and one. ceilings. He has one. He's just looking for the extra team to roll out now. On the left, on their left. Ooh, there. that was a critical yeah. shot right there. Oh man, he just melted all the armor away. Oh, look at this! Look at this oh, player right here. It's the quick what? change, dude. D that is actually insane. In the middle of the battle. So I thought the wow. ramp strategy was dope. This is sweet. What? That, that was probably one of the quickest uh, edit maneuvers I've ever seen in the middle of intense PvP. Respect to Vayne's right here. And Crowley, like, because Crowley just made that quick edit like that. And now his game knowledge must be insane. To, to pre edit a, a ramp like that is oh my god. The rooftop, piece. the rooftop pieces are the hardest ones to memorize what yeah. Plank does. Mm -hmm. He was on it. Oh, this other guy noticed that this dude has no shield and he's just pushing in on Crowley right here. And there you go. Now they can just apply pressure. See, he was fully tanked, so now he has at least 30, uh, probably 30 shield here. There's pressure from both sides. Oh. Takes him out. Oh, that was Gabby and fixed her again. Yep. So they find and eliminate them. And if he had taken even a step more, man, he would have taken some serious damage and possibly gone down. But wow, that was uh, that was some very impressive play coming out from these guys. Oh, here we have uh, Gamru here. What a clean shot right there. That's a super heavy crit. It's a dive down. Another wow. one. Jeez, he's gonna get two here. Wow. <laughs> He Look just at this. handled that squad like solo with those shots, and now he's hitting the nice little juggle here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, wow. <laughs> he's got, like, he's no HP. There you go. See, you don't have time to celebrate in the moment. You gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. Get out and then celebrate. Yep. There you feel it. Yeah, yeah. There it is. And you saw he juggled while he gave, and then he gave his teammate literally enough time. Then his teammate picks up the half shields now. And they're just, like, without skipping a beat, they're just on their way again, making their way into Dusty. No, 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 no. I've got minis, I've got minis. Wow. On, I mean, monster. This is like, there's just impressive things happening literally all over the map right now. That's right. And he was just telling him, don't drink the armor, uh, the shield pot there, because he had minis. Yeah. Maximizing everywhere they can. Reckons and wizard inside Dusty. So we know they're literally up on the hill right here. Yep. Yep. These these dudes are really close. Gamera is very close by actually. Oh, and zone landed here. So with the oh, storm man. here, you best believe they're going to come in and try and clean up this battle right after they heal up. Especially after Gamma just picked up those two major points. Yeah. He's going to be, they're going to have confidence levels through the roof. Oh, that's a full loadout upgrade right there. Picking himself up a drum gun now. Blue pump. It's a 2v1. They need to dive on this player really quickly and find him before they lose him. It's so easy to lose. Yeah, I was going to say, with all the brush and stuff, we are so easy to lose players. Yeah. And I wonder if Gamru is going to join in. I mean, he's literally not that far away. That's right. 28 players left on his uh, circle here. Man, the action is heating up right now. You know what's scary too about Dusty's is there's so much, so many trees. It's very easy for players to just very quickly sneak in. Yep. I mean, he's not even max uh, wood resource. You got to take advantage, wrap these players up, Look, and snag some extra. We talked about it. Gamru and Jetpacks were literally up on the hill. They heard the shots, and now they're. And you knew they were gonna come, especially after having 100 shield. You just, you just know they're fully tanked up. He's a juggernaut. He just has to come in here, and you know. Let's find these players. So now they're trying to figure out and isolate. Here's the thing, though. The, uh, the enemy team may not necessarily know, but they're now going to know for sure, right? Because you've got grenades. Now. They find them. There it is. Picking up two of them. Oh, my gosh. A launch pad. Oh, that's actually... That was a solo play. They didn't get the squad. The squad's still in the air. That was a solo individual that we just watched. Remember, they lost that player, so they don't know where the other team of two is. That's right. Oh, that's why he just called it out. Here they are. So they, they picked up the, the, the solo player. I'm going down here. Oh I'm man, down here. look, yeah, and you hear him call out. They oh, say we're really in a build fight, and then he says, I'm going down. He wants to disengage. You know what? Why don't we actually listen in here, monster? We're not actually in zone. They're being third party. They're in the left. They had aggro yam side. Don't run stay. We're in the zone. Shame. Ah, uh, sniper. Target. That's your rock launch? It's communication levels. Yeah. Are no, I just got sniped when I jumped. I'm safe here. I'm safe here if you can get to me. I don't think I'm in the zone. Okay, crawl back, crawl back, crawl back. This way, this way, this way. 
Fall fine. back, fall back, fall back. Yeah, bravo. Back to bro, bro. Also place some other guys. This is thing. both sides. This is the enemy team in your top left. Do you want me to fall off into the tree? Yeah, follow, follow, follow. I'm going to send. I know, Mads. Oh, go down, go down, go down. That other team is just trying to find them. They're they're not giving them any time at all to he's breathe. Got, he's got one thing in his favor. His teammate is still alive. Get you know extra perspective on this side, and then he's got a lot of metal that he built. Okay, what about? Gonna think maybe maybe just fall down behind the ramp here. Oh, he lost opportunity to save and they got spotted. Look, but that was someone entirely different. That's Ames and Amar. Ames and Amar are now joining in on this fight. Like can do is not too far away. Vainless is here. Twenty players and Vainless. These guys see everything from up above. They have just the sky visual over everything here. And Mikolaus still here as well, not too far from the action, four eliminations. Mikolaus solo here, still has a ton of RPG shots. Oh man, someone else kind of, you know, stole that one from him, it looked like he didn't get the elimination for the knock there. Right. Comes the RPG, like trying to time point. it, and then opens fire on the wall there. Nicely done. Man, Monster, the action right now, just things happening literally everywhere. He's playing it well. He's taking his time with his shots here, really trying to buy time against the Storm. But now, look at, now, you know, he's he's also got that pressure of the Storm as well, right? He's got a bouncer, though. He's got a little bit of high ground, so he can use that to his advantage to get out of here. I think he has to keep the pressure on this player. He's letting him heal for a little bit too long, in my opinion. As, yeah. as a solo individual, you got to take these as like golden opportunities to really score yourself some points. Look at this. There's another, another fight. Oh, my. Oh, God. wow. That was great. He immediately beams a player. He, yeah, you want, he wants to take that. Take exactly. That point. Every point here. They're so close to getting the eight bonus elimination. That's Ooh, he should have just players. had it off that. Oh, there goes the bouncer play on, on the tree. Don't hit the tree. Yeah, look okay. at that quick turn there. Oh, my gosh. And he's, he's trying to play these guys off the pressure of the storm there. Explosions like coming in. This, he couldn't even get the loot there. Knock He's him down. There it is. Oh, oh with the clean Nicolau. headshot. 160 critical damage right there. We got zone here. Now here's the thing. Go further to next we know zone. Amar easy, easy, and, easy. Aim, uh, yeah, yeah. and Ames are here. Look at this we rotation. Gamru's here. All the way for the zone. 12 players <laughs> left <laughs> alive, monster. What a shot. He didn't even grab the materials. Okay, you the they were just now. so stoked no, off of it. He just kind of rolled into the next spot. Yeah. Sorry. And this is where you go for high ground. Oh, yeah, yeah, if you I get to the to zone, it. especially on the uh, I, I can, one to hit Storm 6 for oh, movement, and you're there play. first, you build high ground. And that's how you win games, or at least play off that high ground. Oh, my gosh. He passes him a chug jug. The best teammate in the world right now. You got to be like, listen, thank you, okay? Like and do, you are legendary. Never, ever change. There it is. Vainless going to bounce back. Full tanking now. Now here's the thing, we kind of touched on a little bit earlier, but Lycandu, um, or rather Gamru's Do here, we and then three, Amar think, right? is here as yeah, well. Yeah. We can rotate them, uh, we can poke them a lot when they're rotating. Watch out the... Yeah, see, they're, they're making the, the call to lock them out while they rotate, because everyone has to push. They're the only team that's safe right now. All the teams off. West, now the storm is oh, this, is, this is not the right play. This is not the right play at all. These guys are going to be able to get high ground. See, now he put himself in front of that tree. And he's, he's so limited on materials here. You have to take the high ground and fight these guys. I got high he ground. put himself in that kind of position. Yeah, you see here. They've decided to kind of play into them. There's a team in the storm. Yeah, yeah, they're, oh, that's a launch pad play right there. He doesn't land a shot at all. You don't know if these guys have shield or not. There it is. Ooh, it takes a lot of shield. It's all whites. Oh. It's Amar. Wow. Amar oh, goes down, us. so that means Ames is close by or it could potentially be up there in that box. question is, is he going to cross with his teammate here with all the materials he has for, all the, the, way for the loot? Oh. I mean, he's That's a headshot right there. Oh, he lost his squad mate. Lycan goes down. Do you, I mean, it's a one for one. He's got to land on his teammate and save him here. Okay. He literally has to. Lycan do disengages there. Oh, my debate. I might. That's another rocket. Oh. Got to move. This is on the opposite perspective. Ames firing down. Oh, he's pressure. trying to thirst him. He hit him once. Look, Amar is fine. His teammates, his teammates like, all right, come get me now. What are these quick edits? Oh, my. Okay, he's And he all had it. Oh, looks like he didn't go for the reds, so now he's going to be able to save his teammate. Oh, my God. What a play. That's clutch. Six players left here, Monster. Six players, we know. So this is, this is the difference in the make or break if they take this victory right now. And honestly, yeah. they're close oh, to the big oh, bonus. Oh, 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 oh. They really are. The storm's coming in. They've got to go, though. Luckily, the launch, launch pad, pad. had the high ground. See, there's the difference between rift to go and launch pad. Yeah, See how they, they, like, you're exposed for a bit here. Five, Lost his teammate right away. He didn't even get the opportunity to heal. He only had. He's got to clutch by himself health. now. 
This is, oh, this is great. If he can get to that ground right there, all he's got to do is not make a mistake. Get the high ground. There's there's natural stone coverage to his left hand side. So and essentially, he can just box players out. Yeah, right. And that's where the zone is. Look, see, he knows it. Oh man, this is this is crazy. And now he's forcing the players to a key location on the map right now. If he can hold this, it, 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 he can two v one this without a doubt. He's trying to look. It's J Biz and Kenstar are the, the, scary the only duo. other duo left alive right scary now. Scary duo to go against. Oh man, that's yeah. This is not the dude you want to fight against right now. They're splitting their attention. They've made it high enough. Kinsar trying to find high ground here while J Biz distracts. He goes up. He lands a shot. Two. There you go. Kinsar finds the elimination. Racking up wow. a nine-point game for them right there. That's that's not accounting for J Biz eliminations. No elimination. Uh, J Biz had the one. He had the three. Oh, there you go. So for a victory, they find themselves five points, nine points hitting the board. That's got to feel bad, you know? Like, you're like, okay, look, it's a 1v2. I'm going to make it work. And then you're just like, this can start. Yep. <sighs> I think the problem okay. there, he wasn't pressuring them enough while they were, like, really inching their way up. They were only using wood. It's the easiest stuff to kind of break through with the drum gun. So yeah. I think he uh, he kind of, like, choked up just a little bit. It's hard to go against two players, though, you know? Yeah. But he, had the, he had the spot, though. He had the right idea. Definitely. Let's take a look at the final moments coming in from that last game and see how Kinstar secured that victory. Al. And so this is the, the perspective from Ames, right? So there you go. So you see, it's like a 1v1 right now. It's so hard to get up there. Like, Kinstar basically blocked his own teammate out, trying to get to the high ground. Yeah. So he, he could have actually, uh, like, got those uh, eliminations up. Uh, he, had, he had a fighting chance. That was pretty, pretty close. Man, what? That was our fourth game. I mean, right, how's your heart? Mine is racing. I feel good. <laughs> that was like it was, that was a good one. Uh, I think we saw like really consistent performances all the way through, you know. And um, I'm excited to see. Hopefully, like Gotaga and them kind of clutch because every time you see them with those explosions, they come so close. Yeah, it was it was really good. Yeah, let's check out the highlights coming in from match number four. Let's take a look, man. Oh man, orb oh, yeah. here clutching up an elimination. That was big. He's actually gonna I'm get two here. Yep. Oh, oh, that was that was more than two. That was three. Oh, there was yeah. We, remember, we tuned in right here right to see this. So he finds another elimination before that, picking three up. Man, Gotaga and Mikolau, I gotta say, I've been enjoying their play all they, day. They've been playing so well today. Look at that shot. Just Oof, a right. flick shot clean. A flick shot on flick. <laughs> <laughs> Evil one here. Ah, uh, Rogue Alex is taking out right there with a clean play. Means, that must mean the Zacubus is here close by as That's well. Right. Oh, the minigun like comes this. out. He starts cooking. Oof. It's really low. Gomru and Jetpacks. Paradox, look at that. That's, remember, that's when he, he finds it shortly after they celebrate because they're like, <laughs> he's running in the storm, that's right. juggling the shields. Man, even Mikolau. Yeah, look at like, this play right here. Those massive points right there. And then this is it, the final moments. This is Kinstar's perspective here. And you know, I think that the player didn't even see Kinstar. Like, I think Kinstar just kind of showed up and was suddenly above him. Man. I think he, he didn't even have enough time to really digest what was happening, right? Like, yeah. the storm was moving. He just lost a teammate. He has players below him. And then suddenly, like, it went from six to three. Yeah. 1v2. Like, he probably couldn't even process that he almost won right there. Mm -hmm. right? He's just playing in the moment, like, oh, I got to build. Like, yep. And then suddenly he's taking, like, shotgun to the back. Right, and he's like, wait, right. what's happening? It's, it's really hard to, like, kind of condense all that information because it happens that quick. If you don't even have a, you know, you don't get a quick opportunity to glance at the, uh, you know, the, the amount of players left, you, you don't even get to play off that, right? Yeah, for sure. Guys at home, what do you think? Are you enjoying the action? Hit us with the hashtag Summer Skirmish. How are you enjoying these games? Is there things that you think could be done better, differently? Send us your favorite Twitch clips. We'll watch them together. Talk about how amazing Monster is. I mean, Monster's been here breaking down plays <laughs> for us, helping us all level up together. So, I mean, listen, you better, when we play tonight, and you go against me, you better beat me, okay? <laughs> if you have time to implement, I'm here. I have to do this tomorrow as well, so. This is, this is what we do, guys. <laughs> you help everyone do. be better than me? That's right. Man. That's right. Unbelievable. Should have watched that video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we also have some community clips that you guys have already submitted, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of those together. Oh, dude. It, this is, that was such a such a shot, right? Through, through the crack in the door. I just like, Who does how? that? Who does that? Zacubus, listen, man. Calm down, okay? <laughs> Calm down. 
Was it not like Zacubus was one of the first things that did like Rocker Ride, right? There it is, shouting out the Rocker Ride. Nice Zacky Boogie for a second. Yeah, Zacky not even just skipping a beat there. Just is like he had the stone I, face. Yeah, he was, I'm Zacky yeah, honed in. He knew he knew what he was gonna go do. I mean, I don't even know how you go from firing through literally like this big a hole, and then you just turn a corner with your double pistols, and you're like, boop boop. Surprise. I'm Zacky How's it going? <laughs> uh, let me just adjust my tie real quick. Ah, just me. Just another yeah, day yeah. in the life. You know, Zacky I mean, what do you think, man? So this that that wraps up game four. Got one game left, dude. I think uh, EU really put on a performance today, mm. and this is this is only the start of what's to come later, right? Mm. Uh, for those guys tuning in late, that's game four out of the five for today. The schedule as followed. This would be the last game, and we're gonna take a little break where we resume with the NA scene coming in at uh, two p.m. Yeah, PBT. So you can take a look there. And and also, this is only Friday. Tomorrow, you guys get a whole nother day, an entire other day of uh, rounds and games. Mm -hmm. So five today, five tomorrow for each region. Man, oh man. Also, we have standings, Monster. Let's take a look at some of those. So after that game, wow. Instar and JBiz find themselves there at the top of game number four. Amar and uh, Ames okay. right behind them. And if you see from like the first set of games till now, Players are heating up here. Mm -hmm. Now we're seeing way more sevens. A second team getting there, nine eliminations. And yep. that's actually a big, he got the big bonus right there. Well, no, remember, because they got the victory. Oh, round. right, so it's a total points. He actually that's didn't get right. the eight eliminations. <laughs> oh, so close. I give a little too much credit. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go, uh, Etnix and Cromball coming in top 20. Hey, for all those points matter. These, these inch your way up. For every elimination you get, you inch your way up, and that's how you hold your overall standings. Mm-hmm. And uh, so what we probably should do is really quickly remind people that might just be joining in. Maybe you're tuning in late. Don't worry. We'll, we'll catch you up to speed. So every week we change up the format. This week is big bonus. So we're going to play a total of five games, and players are racing to get the most points. One elimination is worth one point each. Victory Royales are worth five points. And if your duo can find eight or more eliminations, you get five additional points. So if you drop eight eliminations, you're literally hitting the board with 13 points. Right. And we've seen that. And here's a breakdown of the pricing. So we're doing two things. We're handing out pricing per match. And then at the end of the five matches, we're then divvying up kind of like a larger pricing there. Yep. So people are basically getting fresh matches. And at the end, like you talked about earlier, consistency is consistency being get a, You get a big bonus at the end <laughs> if you get that top Man. 10. So yeah, we've seen, I mean, honestly. I, I Personally, for real, like I love the way Twitch Rivals has their uh, kind of mm -hmm. prizing set up. You know, yeah. every player is really a winner. So if you get the opportunity to even get invited, you're, you're, you're winning already right because every round you get to divvy up a little some you know kind of cumulative but then yeah. for the person that plays really well overall you get a nice big chunky bonus you deserve so i yeah. love this uh the surprising yeah man and i mean the format i what have you thought about the format for me it's been unbelievable i, I said it off the bat i think this is a scary one eight eliminations is heavy yeah heavy 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 and then you have to win as well if you want the heavy five points right because second and third you get so close but if your eliminations are low you didn't break that uh that eight elimination bracket you're not going to get the big payout yeah for so sure it's, uh, it's pretty this one's pretty scary it definitely rewards uh consistency for sure mm -hmm. and we i mean in game three we saw the lights of skype by himself literally dropping 20 points if you'd miss that in game three skype lost his dual partner early on Goes on, drops ten eliminations. The, the scariest round L of any like skirmish I, I think I, up to date has been really the. I honestly think one. that's been like the best action we've Th seen that is, across all seven weeks so far. Like that was the clutchest moment because without a doubt, I can say that without a doubt. Yeah, ten eliminations goes on to get the victory royale right, so it's fifteen points, and then because the eight threshold, he finds another f five points. He got Dude, the big bonus. You know, you gotta. <laughs> I feel like after big. that, you gotta be like, hey, what's up? No, that's you want to you want to compete? No, 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 I'm Skype. It was hold on. We're here. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> I showed up. You know, that's what he's saying right now. Yeah. What do you think you've uh, learned? Okay. What do you think you've learned over the the first four games? Uh, you know, I I, I would I would have liked to have seen more rift to goes. I kind of feel like what I've learned, people value the rift to go so much they aren't even using it. They're holding on to it. Mm -hmm. So I think what's kind of shown here is that 
you know, it really hasn't developed yet how people are going to kind of jump into it. So you can see how much value people are holding to it. But I think uh, what we can take away from this is that it's such a good item that I want to see more people kind of experiment and really use it. Yeah. They, I mean, they, you know, they show a lot of respect. They're just holding on to it. They don't want to kind of burn through their rift to go. Yeah. And we've seen a lot of teams. They've had some. And it's like, oh, we, it's like we when, excited, when you use it, right? Like, use it now. Like, oh, like, is this the right time? So it's it's kind of hard to, like, really figure it out. So yeah, uh, I, think, I think that's something really important to kind of take away with how people are playing one. Yeah. Again, I'm, you know. I'm really sad we still haven't seen and the new tomato POI. Also, to be honest, double barrel. I've learned Dude. that double barrel is heavy in the mm -hmm. EU scene right here, which is a, a surprising factor for me because you get so much like, you know, people kind of talk about like, oh, is it great? Is it, you know, where does it really rank? Yeah. It looks like the EU guys love it for that close they, quarter. They really do. Close quarter engagements. Here we go, monster. Final game of the day for EU. Let's get it. Here we go. So we know last game was intense, okay? Last game was good. Kinstar, J Biz. I, I was going to say, I would like to see Jaro. I want to know how he kind of starts things off because yeah. early game is the hardest part of uh, Fortnite. Mm -hmm. It really is the most difficult part. It can it can make or break the rest of your performance. For sure. Look oh. at this. They decide to go to Viking Village. What do you call this place? Oh, no, we do. Viking we do, Village. Do. Viking Village? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I tried to coin this term, and then people call it, like, Valhalla. And, oh, oh okay, it's Ukes! Okay. Not like oh, this. Oh, no. Look yeah, that. you knew it. You just kind of tell from the skin here. So yep. one of two things happen here. Either Ukes landing in the past wasn't working, and they landed on Jarl's landing, because mm -hmm. these guys are comfortable, right? Some people, we call this, like, claiming locations. Right. You just kind of know if you're coming here, you're going to fight him. But, you know, like, he's keeping calm. He's playing that, that pole there. Look at that. Perfect. His teammate's going to come up. What a, what a, oh my, big axe. Let's go, <laughs> Tinny <laughs> says, listen, bro. He's two hits. I've got my pickaxe. He landed an 80 shotgun shot on him. Oh, my God. Jeez, that could have been it right there if you had lost his teammate. Tenny, calm down, okay? Stop with the pickaxes, all right? Oh, let me see this. tixi has been surviving up until this point, him and his teammate. And it looks like they finally got, got here at Tilted. They got some resistance. Oh, what? but it's look, uh, reflections again. Okay, so you know it makes sense now. Head I mean, to head. Yep. I mean, no, it's like you know what you're coming into, right? So like reflections, it, he knows for a fact, and and TC hasn't ch changed up the uh, the outfit, right? He's right. Rocking this right here, you know this is him. It's happening again. Mm. So Man. close. Man. So now the question is, are there more players here in Tilted Towers? And from what I can tell, he's uh, it looks like TC's kind of farming like at a you know freely, just kind of going through all the loot and stuff. I think he's got it to himself. Okay. Taking a look at the map, my favorite part. Look at Paradise. Look tower at Paradise. Oh my! Look, even the the Pueblo there, just below it, yep. is uh, heating up as loaded, well. loaded Greasy with players. Grove, Pleasant Park, Risky Reels. Even Lonely Lodge is uh, seeing action. It looks like so Loya gave up Flush Factor. She's no longer landing there. <laughs> <laughs> Back over to Teeksy. So Teeksy's, you know, he's got room to, to kind of breathe with here. You saw from the world map, there's not too many players nearby him. He's going to be able to really kind of load out comfortably. And honestly, this is a small blessing in disguise for him, right? He's, in, he's solo. Yeah. He needs to get his mats together. So look, no, this no, is no. the other hot spot we saw, Paradise Palms. There's we actually haven't got to here. see uh, Hobbit yet, so this is a good opportunity for him to kind of showcase what he's got. It looks like they've already gotten into a little bit of a skirmish here. You can tell that uh, his material and his HP, he's gone through five bandages already, or four bandages from what we can tell. And there's two squads here. Yep. There's one in the main, and then there's probably another one in the residential area, because you can see him kind of peeking to the right, so he's giving that small indication that there's a player close by. I love fighting in Paradise because it's so open. Like, yes, there's cover, but like even the windows, right? The windows are wide. They're just you know, gigantic. Map knowledge matters here. Uh, if you don't know where the windows are, where your weak points are, someone will kind of just like slide up on you, yep. catch you off guard. Now the question is, where is this other duo? Yeah, you see, he's just kind of making his way towards the, the left-hand side here, slowly rotating to the west. They're trying to avoid that other squad to the best of their abilities here, from what I can tell. And there it is, they're doubling back. So it means the other team is either pressuring them or fighting already. So now they're making a hard, aggressive push here. Oh, he actually spots a team off in the distance here in some shots. He's going to ping this player. That dude's one. Oh, I knew he was one shot. You can tell he's getting lit up there. That's for armor. He wants to thirst the player's teammate, and then him and his squad mate can just kind of push. He is fearless, not even moving. The yeah, other player is showing a lot of respect. Did not peek once there. But his teammate didn't even come back, so I think his teammate might feel like there's another duo here. There is that other team that was in the residential area, so one player is like kind of being, you know, playing backup so they don't get pinched out. See, if they would have pushed here, what would have happened? They would have just got shot in the back just like right here. So it's not over yet. That's a crucial shot there. Multiple clingers coming in. 
He's got to back up. He knows he's under uh, serious pressure here. Yeah, he made the call. Uh, he said no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Look, now there's a team, uh, an enemy right here across the way. Is that oh, there's a llama back there. <laughs> uh, I like how we both are like, llama? <laughs> llama, dude. <laughs> See, so remember, there's still a, a third person off to the left hand side, and then there's this guy here, so he can't even over peek, really. You can hear it. They're kind of trying, they want to push. He said he's trying to push. Yeah. He said the llama. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So look, you just, you just eliminate this player, and then you go get the llama. See, so what he's trying to do is, uh, you know, his teammate's trying to get the llama to really, like, kind of tank up here. Yeah. And, his, and what uh, Hobbit's going to do, he's just going to buy himself some time. He's under pressure, but as long as he kind of keeps building, he should be all right. And there it is. That's the player shot oh, from the no. back now, deciding to jump in this battle. Oh, he didn't thirst hobbit, though. Yeah, it's okay. See, so one player just got knocked. His teammate just got one right there with a split. He must have got something good off the llama right there. He's trying to counter push right now. He's got the high ground, and he just pulled... He, he got the shotgun. Oh, his teammate's here. Yep, he just got the shotgun right there. He clutched Man. up. Man. That, you know, so how do you feel about that? Like, he disengaged for the llama rather than taking the fight. I don't know. I don't... I personally don't like that. We, we said decision making matters. He yeah, probably felt comfortable did. enough. The, the team that was there was being a little too passive. Right. And you know, honestly, that think about it from the uh, players that are pushing's perspective. Mm -hmm. With that big uh, port of fort in a way, they, you don't know what the other guy's doing, right? Yeah. So they're thinking they're just holding ground. Meanwhile, he's just you know he's kind of taunting like, no, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. But his teammates, you know, looting up. So yeah, that kind of perfectly. It's mind games. Yeah. Over to my, uh, Majin there and Loya. Poison gets the uh, the uh, stink bomb right there. Just picked up the knot. That was well played. Oh, down here. You know, uh, actually, you want to listen in here because I think they're yep. they've got comms. So let's listen in. I don't think he has any shield left. Dead. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. Just a casual. Uh. Yeah, we gotta move. Yeah. Do we go for the other rift or? Oh, this is this is also gonna be very important. What rift they kind of head for, or if they just move on feet? Right. SK there in the top left. So they've already rifted. They're already moving. Okay, so heading down uh, into the zone. Dude, there's 51 players still left in this lobby. I feel like this number just keeps going up and up per <laughs> lobby right now. Oh my gosh. It's the last game. People are probably going to be the most cautious this one. Yeah, that's true. Interesting. So where do you think, what rotation do you think they're trying to make right now? They're uh, kind of leaning towards Fatal here, probably because the probability to get stone, you can tell from his uh, material count, he doesn't really have much stone. And that is a oh, wow. very, very crucial headshot because these guys are already engaging on another squad. They're going to be able to come in at the very least, get a clean up, and they, they may or may not push the last team left. They might count it as like a little victory here if they can get one more elimination. That's right. I mean, hey, at this point, this stage of the game, final game of the day, every elimination matters, so... Oh, they find Rasmus. I, I would have left that player alive. You think so? Yeah, because when this next battle breaks out, if the teammate of his were to get eliminated, he would know he would get that kill. That would give him some information, right? Ah. So he just kind of gave up a little bit of uh, information here. And because of that, I told you, they may not take this fight. And now it'd just... be a fair 2v2. Yeah, I, I see some, and maybe instead just push those so other the, the players. Fact, yeah, yeah, the reason that they just took the elimination, they're just gonna back out and try and get more resources. He actually just boxed him out there. He could have made the edit play, but decides not to. Kind of missed opportunity if you ask me. Let's go! Nice job, Let's go. though. Bounces right over on Tinny. SEV oh, here, wow. they're still in the Viking land over here, so well played. That's a nice little uh, upgrade, too. So he's in, he's solo now. Let's go, dude. I mean, you got to feel good, though. He finds himself tinny, so... Yeah, it's two points. That puts him high up now. Yeah. It's a good start. And they had more than that already. Yeah, you're good. Go short. Look at this. Yeah, can you sandwich Beef boss. Dude, look, he's just trying to bring fries to the world, okay? Yeah, that's all it is. Here. Love his camera, by the way. Yeah, I love, I love, I love seeing nice little uh, high-quality camera setups as well played. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice quality stream right here. So Juice All right, there it is. He's by himself. Timing matters, and there it is. He, this guy is one. Now, you see, he went from aiming really, really, you know, trying to use first shot, and then just going into, like, full, like, hold left trigger right there. And he gets the knock. He got, like, what, 56, 22, and he knew the player was, like, had nothing left. He's got to be extremely careful now, though, because you want the thirst, but you don't want to uh, allow the other team to just turn on you. Right, exactly. Remember, this is a whole battle here. Oh, gosh. Oh, it pulls out the minigun from a distance here. He gets two this is hits. so risky. Minigunning in a, by himself. No one's watching his back. That's the uh, that's the con to the minigun. You use it, and you're, you're you know, you're exposed. Listen, he's the beef boss, okay? He's the boss of the land right now. Yeah. He's trying to go in. Now, see, so he, he's, he's very hesitant to fully 
you know, dive into this battle. He's trying to play the distance game, but, you know, now he's not going to get that knock. I'm pretty sure this guy's going to get the rev off. Someone just rifted in. He needs materials. This this is a tough, tough play for him right here. Lots, lots, oh, man. Lots. So he's, in a, he's in a bad situation. Yeah, I feel like at this point, like, you just got to wait, right? You like, it for, if, for, if it's me, I go into cave, uh, so I don't have to get into a build battle, and I play the close quarter with my low resources, you know? Yeah. This is what you do here. You play this cave and you hug it. This is your this is your lifeline. Basically, like either either get out and get to the next zone or play the cave and try to base someone towards you. All right, looks like he's gonna just decide to kind of take it as an L. He didn't really get the elimination there, unfortunately. Get on out there. Back over to Majin and Loya. So it looks like it looks like they took the rift out of the risky real area. It worked out for them. They're gonna get deep in the zone here. Um. So now they're over salty. They still have a little ways to go. Yeah, and I think Loya just gave it a little call out there. If you heard it, she said, "I think there's some players under me." So they just flew over a team. They gotta be very careful here. All oh, these trees are already down to one, one hit. hit. Yep, he's gotta be careful. Oh man, just getting beamed from the backside here. Ouch. He's got a he's got a shield pot. He's got to do something. I mean, something. but this enemy only built like a one by one, and it's only like half of one. So he's confident. Some some people so? are like confident when playing the low ground. He wants to bait him out, most likely. Oh wow! Retaliates with the sixty-two to shields. Okay, that's a heavy shot right there. Now here's the thing: Loya is still making her way over. Yeah, Loya is actually on the left hand side with the natural high ground. So, Wizard go goes down. Also, that's why he didn't build fully there. His teammate wasn't in the proper position to make the push. So he was kind of waiting on his squad mate. His squad mate came up, but a little too late. Looks like he's going to be able to pick himself up. Now, here's the, the tough heavy spot. upgraded loadout right here. The tough thing here is the storm is coming in right now. Yep, they got to get out of here. Okay, so finds extra loot. Now, Loya here is here as well. They're still hurting on Look materials. Look at that. Loya just said, I'm going to sky bridge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Over scary uh, push right there. And Razor, they're within the storm right now, which is good. Oh, get, to, get to see them kind of approaching that end game. Let's see if they make the right decisions to kind of survive it out. So if there's one thing we've seen from DK, it's that Ooh, he is a look sniper. At that he does not miss the shot. is showing up week after week with this. And this is a semi. I love the semi. The semi is in such a good space in the game right now. That, that small damage buff that yeah. uh, it got about like two up, updates ago mm -hmm. really made a difference on the semi sniper. Like kind of seeing its we way up really into the competitive the play. Go to waste here as well. Might be someone pushing yeah, up. DK soon. is a legendary sniper here. Notice they're checking their six right here. They definitely don't want to you and know get too excited. Team, this is a uh, you know proper kind of keeping your cool. Them. These guys are really keeping their cool. Yeah, yeah. they're building up the other. Uh, do you want the big? Kind of hear them kind of talking through. The, and it's funny because they're they're saying even things that they think they're saying they could do this. They uh, could do that, funny. right? Yeah. Just always reminding and refreshing what you think could happen. So so notice he gave the shield up to Razor. Razor's probably okay, definitely the more confident close quarter, you know, aggressive. Player. Yeah. So like it, you got to know your teammate, right? Is your teammate better at building and stuff like that? You might want to give him the full armor because he's the one that's going to be in the front line. Yeah. And DK probably plays that support role. That's why he's got the sniper. So you kind of see the playstyles right here, showing themselves in little ways. And look, the the circle finds itself on top of them. So now they're just going to build up. Just going to play the slow game. Yeah. You definitely just want to chill, especially with zone right here. Yeah. Thick and block over to them. Ooh, so what are they gonna do here? They're like, they might be looking to just bounce out. Oh, they're just setting up some, you know, little structures to protect themselves so you can get some shots and some players hugging on the mountain. I think. And I think so. If I'm not mistaken, on the across the way on that mountain, right? Yeah, you got Razor and DK over. There. Yeah, they're yeah. so they're on the mountain just in front of them. Yeah, yeah. They're posted, but you see that you see that team down to the left. That's why he built this little, you know, odd structure to kind of protect them from Razor shot. Yeah, because exactly. they, they already got knocked once, right? By the right. semi sniper, you know he's got a shot. So that's a little bit of respect. He's he's kind of you know exposed himself a lot here though. It's a little a little risky there. <laughs> a little bit risky. A little risky, dude. Look at this. So now he's trying to see if there's anyone behind him, and now they're just gonna keep pressure here. I don't think. Oh gonna... my! That was a shot on that Loya from that was far. Two hundred meters. Two hundred meters with elevation. That's crazy. The compensation on that shot was really good. Mm -hmm. I told you guys, these, these guys on the EU t uh, scene really show up with these sniper shots. We get them. It's kind of crazy. Wait, so Amar and uh, Ames here are li literally to the, what, right of these players here? Yeah. They're on the mountain behind them. It, everyone's so close because you can see the bridge right there. 
just like a it's just battle after battle here. So Taga and Mikolaus still here. I'm telling you, they, they make it to these end games pretty consistently. So they have good game sense and rotations. <laughs> and I mean, they've been picking up eliminations here and there. So they're playing some really good games oh, consistently. Yeah. 31 players left alive. What's going through their heads, Monster? What do you think? They're buying time. You notice that they're in like a little bit of a sky fortress off of the side of a mountain. So they're keeping their elevation, but they're not, you know, burning resources. And you can tell they're, they're kind of actually low on resources here. So they're, they're just looking for someone to rotate in from the storm, get themselves a quick pick, and hopefully capitalize on that material delivery, if you want to call it that. And wow, just catches one, not someone. even moving there. We call this gargoyling. You just kind of <laughs> sit there for too long. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. Mikolaus says, look, I've got a heavy sniper, bro. That's it. That's a long range shot. This this uh, heavy sniper actually has a little bit less bullet drop, so, uh, you know, you're more likely to hit your shots. The velocity on the bullet's pretty quick. Yeah, oof. Oh Almost my gosh. hits that shot as well. He's probably right here. You just want to pull out his AR. Oh, yeah, the hesitation. He lost on a, on a free elimination there. That that player was super lit, but, you know, the long reload time yep. on the heavy and kind of cost him a, a point there. And look, because he's committing so much to this. Now there's, like, players above him. They're dropping their remote explosives. Trying to knock him off the high ground here. Trying to beam in, uh, trying to... Remember, the more... I was going to say, the more focus he puts on the right side, this other team's just kind of coming in from that blind side. Because there's a squad above him. That's why uh, Gotaga is actually playing, yeah. you know, the build yeah, off. Yeah, just kind of like making sure that he's safe here. Oh. What a headshot. <laughs> Another <laughs> shot on Nox. <laughs> this guy <Wow>. is crazy. <laughs> oh, look, now he just, draws his, he just draws a beat again. He's like, oh, look. Game five, the game of the sniper shots here, for real. Okay, he's literally watch, just okay. waiting. He's like, give me a single pixel. Like, I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. You hear it. Yeah, I told you, when you hear this, 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 yeah. <laughs> this the heavy stuff, you got to respect it. It's kind of like the, yeah. the double barrel. And you, the thing is, too, is like you never really know kind of where it is, right? You hear it and you're like, well, so loud. keep our heads down. We know there's one in play right now. That's right. So it looks like now they have the worst zone that they could have here. There's a mountain next to them, and then they have to cross all the way. Yeah. You know there's a team up top. This is a pretty tough rotation for them they're going to be looking at. I think Teeksy's pretty close to them right now, but he's making his way into the, the circle. Yeah, he, 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 right here, Teeksy doesn't want to battle. You know, he wants to conserve as much materials as possible. He just wants to get there. Notice, you see, like most teams, they do like the whole crazy over turtle build right there. He's just rotating comfortably before things kind of pop off. And like these dudes are right underneath the base. They're deciding whether or not they want to siege it. Oh, uh, so these guys, yeah, they're doing the editing. So they're kind of looking out. But it looks like they didn't get spotted because they would have went higher right there. And there it is. Oh, look how quick the reaction speed was as soon as he noticed them. RPG is a game changer here. What a shot on Razor. That's 170 crit shot right there. That was actually crazy. And now he's got the high ground. He's just going to dive in here. Got to be careful with the spike traps. He's trying. Oh, DK. Goes down to Razor and DK are eliminated. Yeah, he's hype. He's hype. So let's go, baby. That's right. You earned that one. Definitely. I mean, right now, man, final was, game of the that day. That was just a great siege. Yeah, great siege for sure. Right there. I think they didn't quite anticipate how aggressive they were going to be. Honestly, they're in a winning position right there. They yeah. have the high ground, and they have a launch pad with the zone. Oh, my god! They, they made the right play. The Vic, Skyart. They're within the zone, but they're more toward the uh, the factory there. Ooh, this, is, this is a scary spot to be in because, yeah, they can kind of like, you know, hold people out. But next zone is really going to dictate. So they're not going for center. They're playing the edge here. They've got to get like they got to capitalize and at least try and pick off the player. Yeah, they know there's going to be players coming in. They really just have to capitalize in this spot before players get to them. And look, they've got a rift. Yep, use that storm to their advantage here. The rift to go is going to be a big game changer too. Once storm six uh, kicks in and they have to rotate. Two seconds. Here we go. Okay, All right, so now, higher here. now they know. Yeah, there's like a whole valley there, dude. Oh, that quick edit! Oh, that was so close. This guy, dude. His reaction speed was great, though. Well, oh, that was Etnix. Dude, Etnix is fast, man. You blink right there and you wouldn't have seen him. That was actually a great, like, real, like, stand-up effort by Etnix to try and do that. He almost made it. It was very, very close. So now back... Etnix still has a teammate. I mean, the Wait, guy's down. So so they're, they're, we're back they're close to each other. Here. Yeah, they're so close. Everyone's so close here. You have 20 players, and the, and the zone's just tightening up here. Look at that. Look at this, right? So Mikolau and Gotaga still down there. Beehive and Blood down there as well. They just use they just use the rift. Do you see it? It went. Oh no, I kind of missed what? that one right there. That's a nice, nice. snipe right there. He just quick scoped this dude. And someone else actually thirsted. So you have two squads over here. 
This is, this is where you go in. Yeah, go in. Work together, really. Oh, the edit play was made back on him. It's going to push uh, push his back against the wall. He's got to be very careful. There's still squads above him. With 50 HP, that's two shots, and he's going down here. He does have the bandages. Yeah, you just got to take a moment. Yeah, yeah you, don't, you don't want to... Being so far from his teammate here, he definitely doesn't want to get picked off right now. So they're, they're kind of not working together, right? Like his teammates in his own little battle, his little skirmish here. He's in one. You just rip the shield from that player there. Aim, uh, Amar's not that close, surprisingly. Oof, he just got shot in the back right there. Now this is going to bring him danger close to the other opponent. He only has three bandages left. He didn't even finish that bandage. Yeah, his, his teammate went down, see? So these guys are rotating. He's trying to get a not like a pick right here. Oh, he has no mats, monster. Honestly, I give this kill to the storm. Don't let him take it. Oh, Keenstar. Wow. But now look, now Keenstar's in the storm right now. That's that's a that's a game changer right there. If he could have if he could have got that knock and then just threw his own body into the storm, so Keenstar's team didn't get the point, that probably would have been the best play. Another that Mikolaus is on it right here. Jeez, slow it down, brother. Look, Not playing any games. He's, no, you see, so he has to reload the sniper here because this is going to be his get out of jail free card. Uh, yeah, oh. see, he couldn't get it off with that high ground right there. You got to hit that sniper shot. That's right. And look, that was Beehive and Blood. So they counter and say, look, we're not going to let you in. We're going to gate uh, that's and right. hold this down. Eight players left, Monster. We've seen Beehive already take a victory earlier today. Yep. And they were looking like they might be working their way to the next one. So look, block at the bottom there. We've got two teams, Mitro and Svenos, yet right, so, again, so this every is, time. This is where, like, a block really has to make the decision to build up while players have to rotate towards them and not burn their resources. I already saw them kind of overbuilding. Right. Because they think just because they're in the low ground, they're in, like, you know, Wait, the worst spot. Yeah, see that? He's got it. Wait for it. Are we going to see gonna it happen? That decision. They're on. all the way in the back here. I don't think this is the place to use it, though. They're in the high ground. They can just look, work they, their way down and sit on top of block's team. Uh... Come on, come on, just do it. Yeah. What I like they're, I mean, is they're going to use it. I think they're calling out for I it. I think they should. Well, the, here, here's the thing, though. Rifts make so much noise. Yeah. The yeah, yeah. moment it goes off, everyone's going to know, hey, someone just ripped uh, Honestly, it. and I would wait till like, last second, for real. You think so? Yeah, you wait all the way until the storm's touching your back if you're going to use it. There's no sense in going early. You'll get shot out the sky, right? That's true. And look, I mean, they're doing the smart thing. They're just one grid space at a time moving forward. Do we need to use it? That, that's why he's holding out. And there it is. They decide, all right, it's, it's go time. They're going to land on the team here. Now, here's the thing. Oh, they're going to get the best position possible off the top of the zone. What a... Oh, man, this is great. This so, look, and the, another duo launch padded. So, now, look, and you touched on Waiting for the zone so they can land on the high ground here. Oh, my gosh. That was probably the like <laughs> the best rift to go we're going to see today. And, look, his teammate landed prematurely to catch him. So, they have the high ground. Oh, Beehive goes down. Goes down. His teammate so, built from the storm to, to catch him inside. That's teammate of the year. Teammate right of the there. year. Hashtag teammate goals. Uh, oh, no, he goes. Oh, hits oh, off the edge wow. there, saves himself. But look, Mitro and Spinoza are here. It's not over yet. This is a battle. This is not the duo you want to be fighting. I hear clapping on the keyboards. They know what time it is. Mitro is focused. He's lasered in. Svenos very close by as well. Now it's their high ground. Look, and look at that. With one, literally one remote explosive, they literally flip the game on its head, and now they claim high ground. But look, they can't keep the pressure up. Look at the medium ammo change. 60 mediums. They have the materials. He has the shotgun ammo, but he has no backup for that pump. With 60 mediums, it's going to be it right here. Oh, he down. had to hit the shot. He does. Look, the Vic literally drops ammo. It wasn't much, though. It was probably like 20 rounds. He didn't find anything. He lost his teammate here. It's up to my trust to really clutch up right now and just keep this ground. That's all he has to do. Let the other team kind of, you know, like third party this a bit. And then he just takes advantage. I think he's overbuilding. No, he's got to chill just a yeah, bit. Yeah, he only has 100 wood there. One twenty. Oof. Oh Make your gosh. way down, dude. If another he rocket just, comes at you, it's he over. He just caught himself at the last <laughs> second, monster. This is seriously. It's a 1v1. Oh, Look, it's, it's just this one player. That's a laser right there. He just beamed him. Look at how much HP he has right here. Oh, Blood has man. two HP. If he does anything wrong. Look, Mitro wants to go for it. He knows exactly. He's already descended on him. Oh, he knows where he's Can at. Look at that play. play. <gasps> Almost. Mitro oh, Mitro. Mitro hits the shot. Gosh. Unbelievable. Now, here's the thing, man. If that's anyone else, that edit play gets you the game. Yeah. Mitro, though. Mitra's proven he is basically a kingpin of the game. 
That was well you played. saw he literally edited it, and in the moment the, the shot was fired, he literally counteracts and builds and stops the bullet. Like, that's literally, that was that, seconds. That slight Damn. hesitation would have ha actually had a, him in the advantage, too, though. Yeah. He just missed the edit slightly. That's going a second time. Let's check out the final moments coming in from match number five. Let's see how Mitro managed to clutch out this game. Yeah, you see, we knew he had to descend. He was kind of risky being all the way at the top there. He's looking for him, and oh, saw, saw the edit right there. Puts the floorboard down. Let's fucking go. Man. Well played, dude. So, and you saw it. He saw the edit, and his reaction was not, let me fire. It was, let me literally put up a gigantic space between <laughs> us. Nice try. Now watch me just take the game. Well played. Man. Dude. You know, honestly, and they fought for that victory. They took the high ground back. Yeah, from from the rift to go play, that was pretty insane. Let's take a I'll take a look at the highlights coming in from this last game of the day, yeah. number five for yeah. EU. What a series of games we've seen today. I mean, and you know what's really interesting is everything that's happened has been like unique. We've seen a ton of snipes from different angles. Uh, we've seen rift plays. We, dang, Warchi just these snipes are crazy. These snipes are crazy. Going up. I love this outfit right here. Look at that. Mine's nice. Elim. There it is. I, I hope that all these are just snipe plays, man. Another there you one. Go. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Full played. Yeah, those guys are really smart, too. You know, you got the knock. They just oh, look. This is the one where he literally oops, right there. jumped right into that on Evisa. Wow. But that was like a, a decision he made, right? I'm going to literally pick this spot fire here. Yep. And if this guy jumps, awesome. And he did. Oh, it took out Gomer right there. Just jumping overhead. Gets a thirst. Power Let's see what we got here. Bop. No, oh, <laughs> oh, on jetpacks with solo. Insta kill. Nice play. Trying to put down shots. Look at that on Vainless. Make it out, man. This guy yeah, all day with the We didn't even see that oh one. Oh my god. We didn't god. even get to see that one. That's crazy. This just, is right. Oh, yeah, yep. That oh. shot, dude. 150. Done. You just you just can't mess around. Like, especially when someone has the heavy sniper in the right the right hands. You gotta respect it. Woo. Final moments coming in. This is how a Mitro managed to secure the victory royale. Oh my god. That reaction speed. Go. Dude. GG's. Just unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, that's these are the guys that won a few weeks ago. Atlantis showed up. They cleaned up. They even played phenomenally last week. I mean, these are dangerous players. Absolutely. Man, what do you think? What's been your favorite moment from the day so far? Oh, man. I think everyone knows that. that was it game four? Or game three? Game three. Game three ending. Watching uh, Strike come out the uh, zone like that and then get that 10 kill elimination was... Pretty crazy. Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, we have standings from our final game of EU. Let's take a look and see where players fell. So right there at the top, Mitra and Svenos. Scoring eight with it. The victory royale. Yeah. It's heavy. Woo! Block right behind them. Fixie, Solary Kinstar, and JBiz coming in at third. Behind Blood, fourth. Skyart and the Vic coming in as your fifth place team. Let's now hop over. We'll see who uh, ended up taking top 20th. Gamru there in Jetpacks. Nice job. Now keep in mind, every game was a, flat, uh, a clean slate, but we do have final uh, kind of cumulative bonuses right. that are kind of racked up. So we'll have those standing shortly. But man, I that just shows you like getting two eliminations. You know you're kind of top 20 already, mm -hmm. so you really hunting for that third and fourth because that'll put you closer to top 10. Yeah, uh, you know what's what we also have is a Mikalau package. Oh yeah. Get to take a look at, let's see gameplay coming just, in from Mikalau. Just put them together. Just, I mean, put yeah. it all together. Just put it. Just, 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 oh yeah. I mean, this guy literally showed up all day, right? Just, all day. We've been so much consistency coming out of him. Look at all his highlights. He's playing so great. Oh, and they time this one. Yeah, remember? So he takes the wall down, and then his teammate surprise nice. finds the headshot. <laughs> Just don't, don't. If this guy's got a sniper, you back up, boys. <laughs> you get away. You get. You can't even get away, actually. <laughs> yeah, Mikalau is not going to allow it. <laughs> this is the flick shots, man. A nice one. The big one. Oh my gosh, man. It's just like, like, why can't I be this good at that Fortnite? That track, just the lead. Unbelievable. So, 
What do you think, dude? How, how are you enjoying this format? I think so far, uh, teams have really showed up after they got cooking. So I think we can see a little bit of consistency probably develop later too. Mm -hmm. uh, I would assume probably the NAC is going to like you know have a little bit of a slow start, but then you see at the end like multiple teams picking up eight plus you know kind of eliminations and stuff like that. So yeah, do you think there's maybe anything they they might have learned from just watching EU play? Oh, without a doubt. Whenever you get those sky views and kind of see the the hot spots, like mm -hmm. let's just say I'll give an example, Flush Factory. At first, someone's there, and then you realize like it just kind of cleared out. Mm -hmm. So for teams that are you know kind of don't know where they want to go, it might be a decision. But I gave away the juice, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now we have the final standings coming in from this is the first day, our first five matches. Man, I am wow. not surprised to see Skyther at Look the at top. That. We saw him drop a 20 bomb there in game number three. And Kinsar and Jay Biz, they had consistent play throughout the exactly. day. Exactly. Teeksy, Skewer, Gotaga, Mikalau. Again, we, I'm we not seeing surprised. Gotaga all day today with these plays. That's mm -hmm. why they got it. Unbelievable set of first, just our first five games. We have five more coming at you guys tomorrow for Europe. And then we have the five later today at two. That's right. So let's talk about the schedule for those of you guys tuning in. We just wrapped up pretty much series one of the day. This is the EU bracket. We ran through the five full games here. These are all the uh, the final standings. So you guys got it on the spot. We're going to take a small intermission or actually a little bit of a break here before we pick back up with the NA scene for uh, part two of today, which yep. is kicking off at two PDT. So what do you think, man? Any final thoughts before we wrap for the day? Final thoughts? Uh, I want I want to give a little shout out to like Gotaga and Mikalau. These guys play phenomenally. Love the highlights that they were managed to uh, kind of pull out there. I think it was pretty sick. And yeah, for everyone that that you know placed in that you know that upper bracket area, congrats, guys. Yeah, definitely. Ladies and gentlemen, like Monster talked about, we're going to take an intermission. We'll be back in two. That's two hours from now. So make sure you guys uh, play a little bit of Fortnite. Take what you've up learned from Monster. <laughs> apply it. Level up. Hit us with hashtag Summer Skirmish. Let us know how you're enjoying the games, and That's we'll see right. you soon. See you guys on the Battle Bus. That was great. Oh, 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 oh,